Um, like, okay, now, yeah, for whatever reason, I thought they said a sty is like a couple of days. Then I googled it. I'm talking like 30, 40 days. Mm. I mean, what the fuck? TikTok is just full of liars. TikTok is legitimately full of liars. Anybody <laughs> with a phone can be on TikTok, so and, and watch the uh the video. Omar, my style lasted 30 minutes. I don't know what's going on with you. You gotta go to the doctor. <laughs> did you get eject or just I did. Uh-huh. I did the day after it happened. She was just like, Yeah, just you know, keep washing it, keep putting stuff on it, put the heating pad on it, put the you know, baby shampoo, just keep doing it, just keep doing it. It'll go away eventually. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. It did go away eventually. Well, it's still there. It's trust me. It's, I, Wait, I what is it? What what part of your What part of my you missed it? You can't see it? Is it the pimple? Yes, oh, that's pimple not normal. normal. Oh. Jesus Christ, souls. You thought he had a pimple under his head all the time? I've oh, had pimples under my eyes before, bro. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. What? Oh my god. <laughs> Um, listen, man, just a bit. (laughs) (laughs) No, (laughs) if you're new to this and you want to be true to this, make sure you hit that join button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. At the racks with the prime, Prime, make sure you have two tabs open one incognito, right? Where you pull up our stream on the side, right? The, The main tab will be you know, your your plugged in channel, your Twitch channel, where you have a subscription. And then the other one will be the other channel where you just don't log in and watch ads all day. <laughs> I, I I think that that's the best way to watch Twitch. Mm-hmm. One one with ads on one without ads. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna I lie to you. I agree, bro. Yeah, it's, it's it's running. It's running. Trust me. I gotta know what's inside. Um, I shouldn't be seeing them though. Because most of you niggas are subbed up at this point. Y'all yeah. Know. yeah. So I, cool, I, I found that um how to fix the alerts. You know how like when someone gives five, it's yeah. like they do five straight. I fixed it, man. So if y'all want to try that out to see if it works. Oh it's my! Right. <laughs> um, Who wants to be a uh, beta test dummy, please? Yeah, yeah. So we'll see if we can get it straight on on my stream too. Um, <laughs> yeah, and they, I, be, I I see people saying ads aren't cool, but I I kind of agree with Bezos when he was saying that ads are nostalgic. Oh <laughs> bro, I'm, I'm, I'm being I'm being so serious, bro. I saw this video on YouTube called like uh everything you know about happiness is a lie. And this woman read like um studies about quality of life and what makes people happy. In the study, it literally says shows and movies, well more so shows, are more enjoyable when there's ad breaks in between the thing. You know what I'm saying? Because a cliffhanger don't feel like a cliffhanger if there's no ads. That's true. That's so, true. Also, so. people like to be influenced. There's no way any anything that we have. Oh wow! Okay. Oh my god! Okay, whoa, whoa, so it works. Whoa, whoa. Okay, okay. So we did ten subs. Angel oh, yeah. Sullivan it, it works. did ten subs. It only went off once. It only went off once. I think that's good. I think that that is that is ten new niggas with an emote. Let me see them. That is that is small good sample right size though. Maybe I don't know. Oh my god! Shout out to Andrew. That stuff is inconsistent though. I will say that. Oh. Is that the bonus for the resub? Um, Shout out to the resubs too, man. But no, everything we have in our house right now, we've been influenced to buy. I would think, right? Every everything that's on, you know, I've been influenced. Y'all been influenced? Oh hell yeah! Yeah, yeah. this chair oh. is. I was influenced. <laughs> is that is that the chair? Yeah. Let me see. Stand up. Let me see. Let's see. Let's see real quick. Four thousand dollars, chat. <laughs> that's what right, worth. Eighteen. Um, yo, who is eighteen thousand dollars? Yo, chill out, bro. Shout the mission man. Oh, seventeen eighteen for the five I'm not sure if you're aware, but you can make different sound alerts for different amount of subs. Like five X could be trippy red bite. 10x a Travis Scott bite, etc. That, that nigga said, "Please, more angst." Mm-hmm. Like, nah, but he did. He did want some trippy on there. Our community fucks with trippy a lot. Baby, and it's, it's only because of the the pandemic. Because trust me, they should be happier than what they are. That's just the oh domo side, bro. I ain't gonna lie. What um <laughs> is that chair comfortable? Because I feel like it's not covering a majority yes. of your back. Yes, it is. Very comfy. Okay. Okay. I'm not gonna lie. I literally sat in it just for five minutes the first time I got it. Sat back on my old chair, and the old chair felt like cardboard. Like it was. It sounds like I'm gassing it, but I'm I'm dead ass. No, no, no. I'm not mad at him. I got a back pillow. Yeah, I I bet he. I mean, it's it's 
fine. I would assume a new chair feels better. Now, do we need to spend four thousand dollars on a chair? I, don't know. I bought some ergonomic pillows today too, man. I'm I'm upgrading ergonomic everything. Ergonomic pillows, man. Jesus. You gotta engage your core, twin. You gotta engage that core, man. Just yeah. sit up straight. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just my jersey. Sit up straight. Oh is this God. a knockoff jersey? It's a Fanatics jersey. It's from Fanatics.com. Okay. Okay. So it's is it a knockoff? I guess, but it was still seventy dollars and it was still uh, sub funded. So shout out the chat. Mm. They didn't say it had to be legit. So uh. yeah, they should have had you get the uh, legit one. Um, listen, man, I don't, I don't want to <laughs> beat around the bush anymore. Um. I want to go ahead and get to my hot take of the week. I'm not going to lie to you. Oh, so, yeah. Oh, change of pace. Sorry. So excited. Just, just left the park. Got to get this one off my chest. Listen, man, if you have anything as like a personal item that's affiliated with the police, you yourself need to go to hell. <laughs> no. Sorry. Oh, and and I and I mean that that oh, aggressively. Good. No, I I you know the people that have the Ford Expedition or yeah. Explorer with the grill on it, the the cage on the front or whatever, and whole time oh it's gray, it's nighttime, and whole time it's just a guy smoking a black and mild in there, and you're like oh my god you you were you were had your high beams on right behind me, and I thought you were a fucking police. Oh. You gotta stop. Oh, that's what you meant. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 I don't yeah. even disagree with him. That's not just say you're stupid for bringing that up. <laughs> I don't. So, disagree. so I'm at the park, and first of all, there's kids at the park. I mean, it's a park. Kids are there, babies or whatever. There's this guy, small guy. No, no disrespect. He's about the size of Dre. He's got a a police dog. That's not. It's not a police dog, but you know the type of dogs that police dogs have. Not trained at all. Mm. not strong enough to carry the leash. So this little boy, about seven years old, riding on his bike, Whee. right past the dog. The dog jumps at him. Now, I mean, I'm, you know, that's kind of crazy. Dog shouldn't, the dog shouldn't jump at nobody, but you know, it is what it is. Yeah. The man falls on the ground. <laughs> and falls on the ground. Now, luckily, he still had the grip on the dog leash good enough to where the dog didn't get out of his hands completely. But I swear to God, that dog was going to tear that little boy up if he didn't have, like, a good enough grip on that shit. Pause. Um. So, yeah. I, nah. And honestly, he would have went to jail that day. Now, mind you, I also seen at the same park another dog bite a lady. They were running on the track. Another dog bites a lady. So with that being said, man, yeah, I just if you civilians shouldn't have police grade things. They just shouldn't. I mean they just should not. Only thing is, if you have a dog like that and you know you're not cut like that to control them, I'm not even mad because you need security in your house, but for the love of God, don't bring around some kids. <laughs> like if you know, if you know if your dog really wanted to, your dog is moving you. All right, that unfortunate. But hey, keep them away from children. Going to a park <laughs> is crazy. You, you should you should not own a dog that you can't control for real. I, that, that, I really yeah. agree with that, but it's yeah. the the only the only pushback that I will allow to be in the air is some people need security, some people don't want to have a gun. Next thing is dog. But need yeah, fuck people dog. Ford Explorers, bro. I ain't gonna lie. In Rhode Island, there's two variants of your license plate: one with a white background with blue waves, and one with a blue background with white waves. The people who have Ford Explorers specifically with the blue background, bro, eat a cock because you know what you're doing. No, that's that. Know, that's right. that police car. Yes, bro. Yeah. The rule. I, I don't know if it's like that in uh, Georgia, but if you have a blue license plate, like that's that's a cop license. It's a. Plate it's right a different. There. It's a. It's a slight difference. They say GV. Some of them say GV government vehicle or something like that. Or they have a little bar. The little mm -hmm. uh, uh, Ford Crown Victoria with the little light. You know, the light that's right on the side, the mm -hmm. mirror or whatever. But they bought that at an auction. Take that shit off. Take that shit off. You don't need it. You don't need a child or charger in like a gray or a white color or whatever. You don't need that. Yeah, no. You just don't need that stuff. Um, y'all want to get y'all's hot takes out of the way because I really don't want to talk about this Dame Drew Holiday Celtic shit. Oh, oh man, I um, feel like it's gonna have to happen, buddy. But uh, <laughs> prior to, I'll say this. Let me get mine out the way too. Oh shit! It... I'm assuming you're talking about a German Shepherd. 
I got one. Training is everything with them. They're amazing dogs when time and effort goes into them. I know Soul's seen him tear up my room, but they good dogs. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, forgot Persian, we seen about... No, stop, <laughs> yeah. stop. We got about Persian's room, bro. Matter of fact, this, this is exactly what the dog looked like right here. Yeah, German Shepherds are fire dogs, but it's you got to be a good trainer. And I didn't want to call it a German Shepherd because it didn't look like a traditional German Shepherd. But I guess the whole it, it wasn't what is that brindle, but the whole yeah. it was like whole black. It looked just like this dog minus the muzzle. So they had the little harness leash on it. No man's tried, got a dog like that. He tried to come behind the dog and press his butt down, be like, "Sit." That dog didn't go not aware. <laughs> Me, mm, get that nigga <laughs> away from him. But anyway, Sage. Nah, yeah. Well, this topic will be short because, truthfully, I know our community isn't the most familiar with football. I'm not asking for Omar and Soul to even participate in pushback. I'm just getting my shit off and move on. No cap. I've seen enough, especially as a fan. Matt Canada, for those who know who he is, is beyond the worst offensive coordinator of all time, and I will die by it. I, I, I'm sorry. This is just a random vent. We really don't need to discuss this, but it's like, holy shit. As a person who has seen the Killer B offense, a.k.a. Big Ben, Antonio Brown, um, we put the kicker in there too, Chris Boswell, um, Le'Veon Bell, we've seen we've seen the Steelers have an elite opponent offense. I'm not saying Kenny Pickett is anywhere close to Big Ben. I'm not saying George Pickens is anywhere close to A.B. I'm not saying Najee Ware is any, anywhere close to Le'Veon Bell. But the fact that those three are viewed as ass – is great. They're not bad. I promise you. Kenny Pickett reserves. Fair enough. But those players that I've just named are not ass. I will die by them not being trash or awful. But they look this way because not only is our O-line eh, but at this point I'm looking at Canada for that too. But holy shit. I mean, we're calling screenplays on third and ten. We're calling we're calling goddamn slants on third and 15. We're calling George Pickens to do some fuck shit on third and 20. Like the, the plays are ridiculously bad. And I know it's a and I know the plays are bad because these are insane talents. Najee Harris was was like Bijan levels of hype out of college. And we see what Bijan doing in ATL. Uh George Pickens is NFL young boy. The only reason he didn't get draft hires because of his antics, not his talent. Every offseason we see him moss a motherfucker. It's just annoying. And Kenny Pickett, I'll give you that because quarterbacks and wins are associated so i understand the he's our mid winning teams so you're getting biggest mid but i really don't think he's a bottom level quarterback you we just don't have proof please pack this nigga the fuck up holy shit um the only debates are literally um some saints teams of the past and maybe some denver maybe some detroit teams of the past but in general god damn bro that nigga is off i don't know how he's his job but I'm sorry. That's just random rant. Had to get my shit off. That's my hot take of the week. That Matt Canada when is TK genuinely joins, worth Ask him to tell life. you the Lotto story. I actually okay. do want to hear that Lotto story from TK. I, I team should tank. I don't know. I don't know what else to say about anything football related. As I'm watching the Falcons drop games to the fucking Jags in <laughs> like bad. pitiful fashion. Tank, bro. Stop. Just stop. <laughs> just tank. So I mean, it is. Hey, look what you want, uh, old boy that can play two positions. Um, Caleb, Travis, on it? no, Caleb, it's 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 come on now, just tank it out, just tank it out. Um, B Souls, the NFL needs to stop throwing what is it? Uh, shoving, Jesus Christ, I couldn't think start, of it. Start, 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 the NFL needs to stop shoving Taylor Swift out our fucking throats, bro. It's getting out of hand. God, bro. She's already arguably the number one artist in the world. She already has like a zillion million followers on Instagram. I do not need to see her on Barstool Sports. I don't need to see her on ESPN, on Bleach Report, bro. I get it. God damn. I'm feeling 20. Bitch, it's 2023. Stop. God. That's a goal take, my boy. The only thing I say is... Not only you damn right, but it ain't gonna happen. And the Renaissance tour is better. Talk about it, now. Talk about it. <laughs> I'll but That's the hot take. But I don't agree with that. That's cold too. I, I, I don't disagree with that. I will say it ain't gonna happen. <laughs> you know how much ratings have went up? <laughs> you know how much bread they getting up this yeah, year? It ain't gonna happen. I'm gonna be yeah, honest, chat. That was for the clip. I really didn't have a hot take. No, that was a solid take. It's no, just... no, no. I, I agree. Yeah, I didn't have a hot take. And I'm going to tell, tell you something. The theme, the theme of the week is putting mid-milk 
in the spotlight because her and Bobby I swear they're just having a mid off. Oh, that's my days. honorable mention yeah. hot take. I got yeah. another. I got an honorable mention hot take. Actually, I'll get that shit off too. Them, them and Bobby, her and Bobby are having a mid off every goddamn week. She does honorable, disgusting work. Honorable mention hot take, y'all. The Bobby John, she don't piss me off because y'all keep platforming her. Just keep it a bean. Y'all the ones that's bringing in the club. Y'all the ones that keep visiting the crib or whatever. Just, I can't get pissed off at it. Y'all keep y'all keep platforming it. I can't. I'm I'm literally not mad. Y'all keep y'all keep hanging out with Shawty. And it's like, oh, but why well, she's always doing this around black people? The niggas is going to her. <laughs> so like, what the fuck? Like she's around black people. Black people want to be around her. Get the little clip. Get the little trend. Just them dunking on her, and that's fine. But like, I'm not going to them be like, oh, uh. She's doing it, do, do, do. like nah. She don't. She don't piss me off because y'all keep doing it. Now, if she goes out of her way to do it, to do what she's doing, but like around white people, she's always ye, and then around black people, she's always ooh. She is she, though. No, but like she goes out of her way to do it. Again, if, mm-hmm. if that is true, but like Suki taking her to the club, for example, you knew what she was gonna do there. So yeah, that's the only thing. I'd be pissed if she was hunting it, but it don't look like she's hunting. It looked like she's gonna approach. Oh man, ladies and gentlemen, let's get um the one, the only up here. We'll get into that basketball shit a little later. God, it's gonna happen. I'm sorry, bro. It it's is. Gonna, I know. Gonna fuck them, ladies and gentlemen. The one, the only. I'm trying to think of something to call TK. I was gonna call him like Wabe or something like that, but I was what? Go. <laughs> <laughs> Scuff TK. <laughs> You gonna call me Wabe, bro? Wabe, that was so crazy. That was insane. That's a Wabe, bro. Nah, I, like, I was, I was oh. trying to, you know, you got to think outside the box sometimes. Uh, are you standing going on, in man? your chair? What are you nah, doing? I'm like, you know, them like football coaches how they have you on one knee when they doing the speeches. <laughs> Type time, man. How much Why? you spend on your chair, man? Uh oh. huh. How much you spend on your chair? Oh my god. This chair, to be real with you, is like three hundred bucks, four hundred bucks. Okay, okay. Yeah. four hundred. Like, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, how so much is like, this like, Who, who, who? Crazy. Do you know who it's by? No. Mm. I gotta see who, man. See who. Um, let's get into it, man. TK, you have a running back as a quarterback. How do you feel about? Oh, that? okay. He just threw four touchdowns. Wow. Oh, he, oh, he, oh, he field. You like, you like Chicago? I'm a Bears fan. Okay. I ain't got. I can't say shit. I got Kenny. You, you see it, bro. You see it. Is that true? Is that accurate? What you just said? Yeah. Justin yeah, was balling. Not a team fucking sold. Bro, oh, listen, 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 listen. Don't get me started because we had a whole segment about this in the beginning of my stream. All right, listen. Fourth and one on the twenty something. You go for it after calling a timeout trying that to get so, up. That was so crazy. Like, 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 like I'm telling you, I watched the game because I listen. I've realized anytime I watch games on stream. They get shitted on. So I feel like I'm a curse. So I, I I take the day off. You know, I watch my games. I enjoy it. I wake up early in the morning. I do my ritual. You feel me? Say my prayer. Clean my womb. Make sure all the glass in the windows in my house are clean. Do the dishes. Everything. Set my chips out. Everything. Like, I'm really a fan. Like, a diehard. Like, Respect. to the point I'm watching the post-game interviews. I'm watching the weekly podcast about them. Listen. So, you know, I ain't going to lie to you. Justin Fields ain't been playing the greatest, but I was very excited from what I saw that day. Yeah. Now we was up twenty-eight to seven going into the fourth quarter. Yeah, His defense so. sold him. Twenty-eight to seven. Yeah. Bro, oh my god, no, boy. What y'all blew a twenty-eight I, to seven? I thought they were twenty-eight the ball, to three. Bro. No, no Falcon shit. I thought they were twenty-eight to three. They I'm about to break something, bro. Listen, <laughs> listen, 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 <laughs> listen to me, bro. Listen to me, bro. This shit makes my blood boil. You feel me? Now, mind you, all that being said, we have a chance to take the lead under four minutes in the fourth quarter. Fourth and one, they try to get him to jump. Doesn't work. You call the timeout. So you're like, all right, we tried. Let's just kick the field goal. No. Send the offense back out there. (laughs) Hot gun formation and run the ball up the middle from shotgun if you were gonna do that why not just sneak it why make it like i like it like i'm not gonna lie to you bro i really am about to go to chicago myself Uh my fucking self 
and handle that nigga Matt Eberflus because I'm I've had it up to about here with that nigga. At least you ain't got Matt Canada. You ain't got our guy. You ain't got our guy. <laughs> even he's saying that. About, about, listen, that listen, listen, awful, but the thing, bro. the thing about the, the Pittsburgh Steelers is y'all struggling right now, but y'all gonna win nine games. Yeah, we like, got one. You feel me? Y'all yeah. gonna win seven, eight, nine games. Right, right, even, I don't, I don't think. Play listen, pool, man, appreciate that. Fuck that, that nigga. Man. Appreciate that, man. Y'all, y'all you are going to hell for your crimes, man. Oh, you, bro. bro, get your I, shit off, bro. You know I'll give crazy? you the solo cam. Go ahead, bro. Get your shit I, off, man. Chase Claypool, you want to be fashionista, Mapletron, <laughs> bitch ass nigga. Mapletron. At this, point, at this point in time, I'm not surprised. Shout out to my Canadians, but you're Canadian. Oh, wow. All right? Oh, shit. You feel me? Listen, listen. This, this bitch this ass nigga, Chase Claypool. Will never be Why the Jordan fuck Hall. was he playing for three weeks? What <laughs> the. Equinemius St. Brown got in the game one game and the offense looked completely different. Yup. Man, listen, it was against the Broncos, fine, whatever. But Chase K Pool is a locker room, a locker room cancer. Nigga on the on the fucking record talking about some are they using you correctly? No. How are you supposed to use a nigga who don't try? <laughs> Tell me. Not. How you use a nigga who don't try? I'm out of town, stuck with my right. My bad, OG. That's our alerts. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> nah, Chase Claypool. I'm telling you, bro, you're going to hell for your crimes, bro. I believe that whole organization me. cooked. And niggas is telling me, well, at least y'all get Caleb Williams next year. I'm seeing tweets. He don't even want to play for the Bears. Oh, like, I'm, bro, at this point, bro, I'm, I'm, I'm determined that the owners sold they sold for that 1985 championship with the Bears defense and shit. <laughs> and this is a spin back of hell. Because I have a friend who's a Packers yeah. fan. Like, he lives with me. Oh, you know how sick. it was like that first week? You know what week one was like? After months of talking crazy to him the whole offseason? Yeah, we got DJ Moore. We got the whole new. That nigga looked at me and said, I don't even want to say nothing to you because I told you. It's it's like at this point it's like he was like it's like when your older brother just spank you in a game after you've been playing it for hours on end and it's like you just knew what it was. It's like yeah. I really feel like it's just a mental block at this point. Like they just like in your head like con like we can't beat the Packers, so we'll never beat the Packers. Y'all niggas, man, I I don't even know. I I don't know because y'all team's supposed to be good by now, bro. And you know what it's I think it good. is, bro? It has to be a coaching thing because yeah. really and truly we shouldn't be as bad as we're getting done, bro. Like, we should have won that Broncos game. I'm not going to lie, bro. Matt Eberflus, I'm telling you right now, this is on YouTube or Twitch. Man, this is both. 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 Oh, we're on Twitch. We're on Twitch. We're on Twitch. I ain't going to say nothing Twitch. crazy, but I'm telling you, what Dr. Umar say, for for actions unbecoming the coach, 50,000 lashes. <laughs> that is fucking insane, nigga. You look, at it, you look at that fucking boy, Justin Fields, balling out. Fourth and one, DJ Moore got a one-on-one -on, -one on the outside, and you said, let's run it up the middle. From the shotgun? Sure did. What's crazy is it's not even cold yet. Um, What's our record? That's, that's when it's bad. Oh, it's it's like, oh, yeah, they're on oh, for, they're on for. No, you know, Chicago sucks. Yeah. So. We're, we're mid, man. Chicago so. sucks. And it's not cold yet, so they're only going to play worse. That's, that's, what's the, that's the crazy part of <laughs> Um... Well, keep that energy. Let's get a little salacious here. I'm going to call some other folks out. Um, friend of the show. Is, is, is this person a friend of the show? Listen, I, Who is it? I think some of Who us is... know D'Adrian. Okay. I wanted okay, to start here. D'Adrian has a YouTube video out. Oh. That's a crazy is... thumbnail. D'Adrian has a thumbnail for a YouTube video that is currently out here. Want to go to EDP Street. Um, and then he has the arrow pointing at it. I, you know, I don't, I honestly have to explain what's going on. Audio podcast, though, I guess. He has a toddler with an arrow pointed. It's a street sign that says EDPF 445 Boulevard. Want to go there. And that's the title of the video. What's the video about? I'll give honestly, you the doubt apparently nothing, nothing to do with anything like this. It's like him just going around with the shenaniganery. And the tomfoolery. Okay, so it has nothing to do with children or EDP. Or well, no, there's, there's kids in the there's kids in the video, but I don't think at any point is he like, "Yo, little baby, you want to go to the?" 
the boulevard. Just, just bump cookie. And, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, no, no. It's not. It's none of that. It's none. So of it's just like the thumbnail for a random vlog, essentially. Basically, basically, mm-hmm. from what I what I uncovered. But I mean, how do y'all how do y'all feel? One about the thumbnail and two using, you know, this man shock value type thing. Yeah. yeah. Me personally, I have morals. So I feel like there's certain lines you just don't cross. Like, I feel like joking about like pedophilia and things like that. Can I say that on Twitch? Is that cool? I did. I don't think so. We both on Twitch. I feel like, 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 yeah, I mean, like (laughs) jokes in regards to like children and like instances like that because it's not like niggas don't know what edp did it's not like it's mm-hmm. like uh 50 50 we're like ah huh, maybe he meant something else no you meant about like some shit like that like in in a way of like garnering views to me is kind of corny but at the same time he didn't really do anything he just like click baiting in a corny way so to each they own me personally i wouldn't do it but i guess i mean it's him his life if that's how you want to get your views, by all means, do it. Now I mean, yeah, um, I'm probably a little bit even less on the like anger spectrum of it. Not because it's not wrong, but it's just like I I don't perceive him as doing something that's like, wow, like you're a fucking bozo. I just think it's a horrible joke. I I, I think it's just bro tried to be funny. Some people probably did think it was funny, but now it's like nah, not for me, not for me. But I know some people probably thought that shit was hilarious. So, um, especially considering the vlog doesn't have anything to do with it, I just think it's an L joke. But uh, that's that's pro- I know some people will completely disagree with that and hold them accountable. And to be honest, to a degree, it should be. Yeah, strong strong three to a light four on the thumbnail. I felt like if, if the video was actually <laughs> nasty as fuck, it might have been like a strong one to a light two. But the fact know. that it's just distasteful, uh, distasteful clickbait, um, you know, it's on some it could be worse type shit, but. It is nasty though. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. Like you know, you know what you was doing. You know what I'm saying? Specifically to use EDP. Um, you know what you was doing with that thumbnail and that title. So, shouts out to Diego. <laughs> this is disgusting as fuck. Um, you know, and I think that's why Jadion said he retired last week is because you got to do this. Jadion really retired? That's what I don't he said. No. Yeah. I don't know about retired, but he's been streaming a lot on YouTube, and it's like going over Bible verses and shit like that. Oh, well, mm. that's like, what. So, so you know. It is what it is. But I think that's part of the reason why, because apparently the back of the cab and are you going to hell is what the cab driver asked him. Um, so if if this is the type of content that you're making and, you know, you, you have to continue to be this extreme, this extreme, this extreme to where I, I couldn't even think of doing something like this. I don't know about y'all. Oh, no, this like, is crazy. Yeah, this doesn't even cross my mind. Like I need a thumbnail for a random vlog. Let me go ahead and and just EDP Street. Let me get a kid and let me put an arrow and want to go to EDP. Got, got it. Got it. like that's never that's never come across my mind to ever do anything like that. Um, Adrian's young though. How old is he? Probably like twenty. Mid twenties. I feel twenty two. Twenty. Uh, well, oh, okay. I'm not gonna act like I'm old, but mid to early twenties. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I ain't gonna act like I'm with that much older. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. What's old though? Like even like 26, 27. It's like I right, dog. Look at <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Hey, twenty six is my line, man. That's pop's territory. He's yeah, twenty. He's twenty yeah, so yeah, two. So is that is that? Oh, uh, he unk. TK damn. Is, uh, wait, you old? Is unk? I'm twenty six. Oh, TK, yeah, no, TK is old now. Nah, TK is old. You're, you're in yeah. Pop's territory. Whoa, don't, 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 don't say nothing. Don't say nothing. Don't say nothing. You don't got to say nothing. <laughs> we don't already say. know. What do you mean don't say nothing? You had your Roth IRA for like six years. What you That's talking? disgusting, bro. <laughs> like what? You going to call just... me old? Yeah, because you signed up for AARP. Yes, you are. Yes. Oh, yeah, we're, we're in the same. Looking in the first. Crazy, bro. Okay, you got to go. <laughs> no, we're oh, in the same. That's an old road trip No, listen. Listen, listen. We're in the same bracket. We get the same social security check on the first. I'm 27, but that's not the point. <laughs> so wait, so wait, so wait, so wait, so wait. Three years you, from 30, I listen, don't know. You, you closer to 30 than you are to 20. Like, yeah, yo, you're disgusting. You. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> you're like, gross. what? You're disgusting, dog. When do you, when do you turn 27? When do you turn 27? Not till next year. I just okay, uh, okay, okay, okay. What's, what's just? What's just? May. 
That was a while ago, dog. I don't know about you. Yeah, that's, 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 like, that's not no. You're 26 and a half months next month. What the fuck? Yeah, I that's kind of crazy, bro. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. It's cool. Oh, it, 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 ain't not, there's nothing wrong. I, I'll tell you what. It's cool to be you up, turned, huh? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, you turned 28 in 2023? <laughs> no, no, no. I turn 28 next year. Okay. That's good. It's, if it's if not... you turn in 30 before 2025, I think it's kind of crazy. Oh, but, <laughs> you know what I mean? I just like, hey, to each day home, bro. Damn. Oh, my. I don't even you, know. You've been halfway to 50 for like three years now. That shit kind of cooking. I just crossed over in this threshold. You, you got some experience in this motherfucker. Oh, you settled in here. You learned the language of older people. You that's the grand line. No, you like to hang out with them. You oh, have no. content creator Medicare. It's cool, bro. We're old now. We're old, bro. <laughs> I'm just saying, bro. Like, I'm fresh into this shit. You, you know the language fluently. Like, Yo, bro, people we... start talking about older niggas <laughs> shit. You like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know I did that last week. Mm. Oh God, we are not that much different. Like we are I really. Don't know, not... bro. You you got some experience though. Like I'm still fresh into the game with the old nigga shit. You experienced. Like, you graduated you veteran, 20, bro. You graduated high school 2015. You graduated 2014. 2013. Matter of no, fact. No 24. No 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 no. no, no, uh, no. You trying to drag it? You trying to drag it? I graduated, graduated 2014. LeBron and, LeBron and, <laughs> and and when I graduated 2014, I was actually supposed to be in 2015. Brian was so. still in his prime when you graduated. Brian hey. was still in his prime. Yo, shut the fuck up, nigga. <laughs> Yo, be quiet, dog. Nah, you graduated. Book wasn't even in league yet. Oh okay. my lord. Giannis was nah, a Eric Bledsoe was still on the Suns. Giannis was skinny. Brandon Knight. Now I'm about to say I was gonna say I graduated when uh, the Suns were bad, but they're still bad. So that's like a wide range for a lot What's of people. Team? I'm not gonna lie. To you. <laughs> yo, yo, come on, come What's on, your team? come on, bro, come on, come nah, on, nah, come nah, on. You can't come say on. that. Not mention your team. What you? I'm a Lakers fan, man. Lake Show fan. LA all day. You see the purple? Them, them, them niggas ain't been the same since Bron did this shit. Hey, like hey, hey, hey. I'm actually a Lakers fan. He's a Hawks fan. Fuck him. <laughs> he, ain't doing this, doing, he ain't doing this. He ain't doing this. Nah. Hey, hey, hey. I got to protect me. I don't I don't oh, actually yeah, like slam. basketball. I'm just I'm just looking at everything. Okay, Pretty anyway. The Adrian Stop. The Adrian is young, as the streets would say. Okay. Right. So you can kind of just, you know, I guess you got to chalk it up to that 22. But that's disgusting. I, I don't I don't know... And I guess that whole community, I was going to say, if they got friends that will tell you, like, because I think if you sent to your group chat, you know, which I think about this, this EDP thumbnail, I think your group chat would probably say, that's not, nah, that's yeah, not that's it. Wild. <laughs> you kind of missed the mark on that one. I don't know. Maybe. They say I, funny, but don't post it. I keep I, being, they say that's funny, but don't post it. I did have a George Floyd thumbnail and nobody checked me. Someone mm. did. I saw your replies. That was not my friend group though. Y'all let it slide. Oh, okay. Yeah, y'all let I it slide. It. I okay. told you specifically it was crazy. Okay, What's here you go. the, the font on the text. Clickbait thumbnail you guys have ever used. Oh, <laughs> bro. I got a legendary yeah. one. Yeah, you're an L me. No doubt. put L me. Yeah, when um when Zion and Mariah Mills was going crazy on the timeline, I reacted to it on stream and clipped it up. So the thumbnail was like with my mouth open like this, and then the text was L me. And it's just Zion, Mariah Mills in the background, bro. Crazy thumbnail. Legendary, though. You still crazy. have it up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. One out of ten. <laughs> One see. out of ten. <laughs> nah, air organic growth via Twitter. <laughs> Shit was crazy. I think I put up... Nah, I think. I did a, a Little Mermaid video. Um, and in the Little Mermaid video, I put this in the thumbnail. Now, this is kind of crazy. I ain't going to lie. Looking, looking back on it right now. All right, I put this in the thumbnail. Now, what 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 sense does that make? Okay, wait, hold on. This is gonna sound <laughs> crazy, but can we acknowledge George Floyd had some fucking sniffers on him? Yo, <laughs> you can't. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> I'm sorry, but like seeing this picture, that nigga's got some nostrils on him. Like rest in peace to his soul. But like, rest in peace, yeah, yeah, yeah. Rest in peace to his soul. Yeah. Really I'm just saying, bro. Real. This picture's yeah. crazy though. But like him being on the crab just highlights the sniffers. You feel me? Like, I feel like if it was a normal picture of his body, we'd be cool. But like this right here, like really, like yeah, you know I mean, no, we, his yes. attributes. I got. I got. Oh, take what it. is that other one? Though? What the fuck? Nah, the, other ones, are, the other ones are crazy too. I, I gotta take this down for Stephen Jackson. Start talking about us. Um, this was the other. So, so look. Jeez, yeah, sorry. they were. They were. They were going in about the like 
racial aspect of the Little Mermaid, so I put that. <laughs> 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 I was trying to make a thumbnail about it, and this is when I was fresh in the game, so I put the George Floyd crab on the thumbnail. You've gotten better though. I'm proud of you. Oh yeah, I'm a top that's five a, thumbnail a, maker, but that's a good one though. I like that. That was kind of funny. The ju- <laughs> that kinda, like like it's crazy, but it's kind of like out of. Do you got the full thumbnail though, Omar? Hell like, no, I, nigga. I deleted everything Those about that thumbnail. Now. Oh my god. I I didn't put. I, boy, what? <laughs> I deleted everything about that thumbnail because if I ever like run for Congress, and they'd be like, Oh nah, they cooking you. You can't be what? worse than the shit that they talking about with Obama now, though. Mm. What they doing? They said he gay, ain't he? Yeah. That's his, his brother said he's gay. <laughs> Can we talk about his brother hating him so much, bro? Like, his brother is admittedly a hater. Is he like consistent? Hater, bro. <laughs> he don't talk about his brother, but his brother... Oh, oh, his, brother, brother his brother be hating. Like, y'all ain't nah, seen some of his brother tweets? Mm-hmm. What's the he be saying? He be calling him the F word all time. Yeah. Oh, my God. Like, nah, his, yeah. brother is, his brother is a hater, bro. Like, I don't know what happened between them in childhood, but that nigga is like, y'all voted for that nigga for president? Little do y'all know that nigga take dick. Like, it's crazy, bro. <laughs> Shit's insane. They had an uh, interview How does that out. make you feel, huh? <laughs> he takes dick, huh? No <laughs> policies, am I right? They had an no, interview no, out no. where he was like, uh, it was one dude that was supposed to be his like best friend back in the day. And the best friend in him did lines of cocaine, and then they had sex or something like that. They had, like, gay sex all the time. Now, this dude is totally lying, 100% lying. However, it was still an interview, and it got multiple millions of views. So, I don't know, man. You can just do whatever you want. Hey, man. Shit's crazy. Look at the People are so mad at my recent thumbnail. Yeah, that's nasty, nigga. Yo, D'Adrian, you're, that's nasty. I don't know if anybody else going to tell you. Oh, are, and nobody's yeah. mad. We're just saying that's nasty, bro. It's a gross thumbnail, man. Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. Before, man. Yeah. yeah. I put the George Floyd crap on there. It's not even that deep, but that's oh, a yeah. nasty. I gotta yes. improve my clickbait. I just the whole time I was looking down, I went through my thumbs. Yep. No, I, I'm awful. <laughs> I do not do, do 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 these NBA creators or these NBA players are like these content creators and then put right. like EDP and Patrick Beverly. EDP, Carl Malone. Mm. There you go. Even better. Now that. Who's a nasty How many All Stars do Carl Malone got? 13. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> who's, a, who's, another nasty, who's another nasty content creator that you could put in the thumbnail? EDP, like the nasty. Ice know. Poseidon. I guess I don't know. Yeah, there I, you go. Josh, was that Ice Poseidon with that situation in the motel? On Kid? In, on kick, yeah. Damn, Damn that's, that's old boy. Crazy. Why yeah, you why, crazy. why you not on kick, TK? Why you why you on? Oh, I be doing movie night on kick. Oh. Yeah, just not too much though, cause I'm watching out for them fans. They gonna get me for that. That copyright strike. Right? Yeah. That shit gonna hit the hell. Well, I mean, you just said it, so. Oh, well, we they got don't know my kick stream yet, but yeah, I was over there watching Wolf of Wall Street. Crazy bit. Mm. I ain't gonna lie, Wolf of Wall Street's a good movie to want you to get a bag, bro. You want to get a bag? Bro. How do you feel about Margot Robbie in that movie? <sighs> First thing, listen, nigga. Say less. Say that's less. deluxe milk. <laughs> if God kissed the cow on the lips, that's the milk that he that that cow gave. Yeah. Hi. I appreciate you, man. I appreciate you. That's Margot Robbie's sweet milk. You know what's even in, more insane? Will Smith was fucking her. Yeah. Will Smith really could have had that, that picture bro. this week, bro. Why people keep saying that? What's the what's the, the nigga was about now, bro? No, bro, that nigga was in the in a, in a picture with her titties out, bro. That's not something you do with somebody you not. Wait, she what? Yo, someone no, attached to me. You want to join Paw Patrol, bro? Y'all nasty. What, what the fuck? She don't even got a fat ass. She just she got a nice face. See, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm name Mario Robbie. Okay, Mr. Coil Ray Stan. What the fuck? Damn, bitch. So I'm not hating. I'm just saying she's not a listen blog. to that album. Yeah. Well. <laughs> You just lied for no reason, bro. Catch no, flight. <laughs> no, on, no, 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 no. <laughs> I, I, listen, listen, listen. I listen to the album when I go into H and M's and sporting events. They, they play the you song. H and M. Oh, I don't. I, don't. I can't. I can't, I can't, I can't on, call bro. it. I can't call Come it. On, Which it, but don't don't What's not too much. H&M? Not too much. Not too much. And not too much. Hold on, hold on. I was, I've been I was, seeing like forty year old dads in H and M, bro. They, hey, they hey. Stopping, but bro. no, but you see, I T K defending it because he know we close in age. Yeah, yeah, not I too understand. much. Not too yeah, much. Not... 
<laughs> yeah, we close. It's cool. Okay, Damn. I got a, I got another question for you. What is the age limit for like content creators to be involved in like you know the IRL stream and like how niggas are going to colleges and shit? What do you think is a cutoff for where like all right, nigga, leave them leave them college students alone? College oh. students specifically? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like no, like you know some like creators college, are now going to visiting colleges and doing the whole knocking on dorms things would be. Oh, they're what doing do the knocking on dorms thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh. Kai and Kai and Deshay be like in their rooms and stuff like that. How? But how old is Kai? Kai, Kai and Deshay like, are like 21, 22. They still oh, yeah, college age. Yeah, them, them niggas could be. I in thought Deshay was older. Twenty three, twenty four, twenty twenty three, twenty four, twenty three. Really? I, I, I think I know some niggas on campus. This twenty four. Once you tell me you're twenty five doing the shit, okay. Cause mm. DDG is twenty five. That's old, bro. To be doing that twenty five is crazy. I was twenty five years ago. Twenty five? You was twenty five. No, in terms of the limit. Twenty five when his sons was in the, was in it was in TK 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 TK. Nigga, you were twenty five when the Bucks were playing the Suns in the finals. TK. <laughs> not when not not when the Suns played when they lost. Oh, you're right. When was the last time the the Atlanta Falcons or Atlanta Hawks sniffed a conference finals? They were just that in one same that year. same year. <laughs> oh, what? <word? laughs> <laughs> you got me. You got yeah. me. Weak ass West. You got me. Yeah, no, 24 is it. The same thing with the spring break. I'm glad Duke oh, is so, at home. So, so spring break is like off limits for anybody 25 plus. Oh, if you're not in college, bro, I don't know. No, if he think it's like, if he's yeah, school, Omar, Omar like is 37 out there. Yeah. No, bro. That's gross. That's weird. That's, That's super weird. It's it's always dependent what you do to me personally. I but I'm the only one that thinks like down the plot. If you go what down you mean, there, do, say, if you say, go say. down there and call it spring break with the intent of hanging around, jumps this way, then all right. But so you, you just, just go on vacation but, every but, single but, but year but, during but spring nigga break. During the springtime, he has some shit on the schedule when you go to Miami. I'm not gonna tell niggas what the do. Stop, say. bro. That's, that's just me though. Every bro. single year hey, you have a planned I'm, out vacation in spring in Miami. Come on, bro. No, you know what I mean, but what if you live down here? That's also true. If you in Miami and the events is happening that spring, which you're supposed to stay in the crib. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I can't. Yeah. I disagree. Yeah. I disagree. Like, like, I disagree. Let's be for real. Go to the Orlando people that be having. Bro. I disagree. All y'all girlfriends, not y'all, but I'm just talking about you know in general, people girlfriends go down there for spring break on them boats and shit. Be 25 plus. It don't be college students. It be the 25 plus. That's not true. Bachelors. Though. That's not true. No, no, no. The 20, the 20, no, the 21 year olds, the 20 year olds, they be on boats. With they niggas my normal. age and up. That's they what I'm on. saying. But I'm saying the dudes is older, not the That's women. That's what I'm saying. I know. Oh, okay, but okay, it be okay. 25 plus year old men on the yeah, boats oh, with them 20 year olds. You feel they me? nasty. That and, and I'm gonna tell you this. Okay, it, that, yeah. Where what, hey, what, okay. what is for somebody your age the cutoff age? Like you won't go below it. For, for oh. John general? I'm one and a half years below and one and a half years above. I, I can't. You're going to get to an age that ain't practical. You're going to be like 30 and be like 27. You saying no to a 27 year old when you're 30? Yes. Nah, you bugging. Really? Why can't I mean <laughs> That's a little old, dude. That's a let me, let me say Let me say this. Unless there is a, a generational that's in my face and she is, I ain't going to lie, three years is crazy. So Unless, Ruby Rose at 21, you're not dealing with it? I don't think Ruby Rose is generational. So. <laughs> He doesn't like Ruby Rose. She can I can I can I, I and I've never done this before. Y'all have a wonderful day, yeah. No, no, no. Listen, Niggas. listen, listen. She. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. Niggas. And this is crazy. This is crazy for me to do because this is also clip riding. I'm gonna put some of my I'm gonna put one of the ones that I've had in the tuck on, right. on the stream right now. Talk to her. This is crazy. This is crazy. I don't I would never do this normally, but since TK is on the stream. So this is one of the generationals to me. Um, I don't know. A, she all right? A real, a real animal. You know. You call this generational? Yeah, yeah. yeah. generational. Yeah. But Ruby ain't even in there. I've seen Ruby Rose in real life, so I can't say she's generational. But I, yeah. I, by the way, she look good. I ain't, I ain't doing a yeah. no. She's a beautiful woman. Yeah, she look But good. generational? We're just yeah. using these words. You know what generational means? LeBron James is a generational talent. You're saying she's a LeBron James. <laughs> well, let me, game? let me. Uh, yes, she's generational. Not only because of. Well, she's got everything going on here, too. I've also seen her play basketball. But nevertheless, 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 nevertheless. And I hope y'all didn't see the name. Um, yeah, if she was three years younger, 
we might take a flyer, man. We might take a flyer on that. But unless it's something that's, you know, generational, I can't say that I would go. Ruby Rose? Ruby, no Ruby Rose, Rose is generational, bro. I'm I've, seen her, I've seen her in real life. I've seen her in real life, Crazy search. Sorry. <laughs> oh. Right, what's her name on? Hold on. Let's let's yeah, let's. <laughs> Yeah, close that down, buddy. We seen that. Y'all seen that? We seen that, bro. We already know what it was. I know what it was. Why is my algorithm so now? Before I get caught, let me clear my shit, man, because that shit was crazy, man. My algorithm. Oh, mine ain't crazy. Mine ain't crazy. Mine ain't crazy. If you if you watch my yeah, mine ain't crazy. All right, all right. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Boy, how I many of who, who is he? Have you seen Ruby Rose in real life? I, no, I ain't seen her. Yeah, and I'll, I'll even go as far as to say this uh, everybody make that little jump, joke that if you go to Rose Bar, you'll see a bunch of rubies. I've been to Rose Bar, and there are some girls that even look like Ruby, but they ain't Ruby, <laughs> they, they're not, they're not her. Time, they're not her. I've Do you seen, see the versatility, I, bro? Well, yeah. let's see. We on Twitch, like, right, come on, I, bro. I've been, I, I've, I've seen right Ruby hand, Rose. I've seen Athletic, Ruby Rose in real life. A shooter. Um, All skills I, is amazing. I also do Three live where score. she's come from. <laughs> Lockdown I mean, defender. Cool. She gonna cool. lock it down. It's cool. On, this is just not. And she's small. She's smaller than the other girl that I just showed. The other girl is. You know, let's not. Let's not. Her recent pictures, nigga. I've seen her in. I've seen her in real life. life. So when did you see her in real life? I seen her two months ago. Where at? She lives in Atlanta. <laughs> What are you talking about? Like, at the gym. Time. What gym? Nigga, give me specifics. Like, oh, oh, no, 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 no. So how about this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Relax, relax, yeah, yeah. relax. Yeah, yeah. relax. Yeah. But yeah, no, no, no. It, two, you about to see TK three times a week at your gym. Motherfucker, no one got an RL pod. got this like this. I'm like... This is crazy, bro. This... Yo, where are you going after the TK? Hey, Airport? Come on, back home. You gonna get that bitch on the gym I'm on the Stairmaster, lowest level. Just nah. Like, damn. Is, is that... Nah. Is, is that Ruby? Bro, I was just looking because I'm surprised. <laughs> what? And I, I ain't gonna lie. I, I know the people saying, um, oh, uh, is, is, is Ruby Rose overrated? Y'all live in Wisconsin. Like, that part too. That's the part that pissed me off, bro. It be the niggas that don't even touch grass saying Ruby Rose overrated, bro. Everybody oh no, I'm it. saying the wrong thing. I'm saying the ones that are saying she's generational. My bad. Oh lord, you y'all live in TK? Don't you live in um? Miami, no, let yeah. me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. Let me I'm stop. out here, bro. I say, So if, if Ruby was out there, would she stand out as a man in Miami? I'm be honest. Without her status, no. No. I just think she's that's fair. Though. That's oh, very fair. Like, oh, like she's a, she's a very beautiful woman, but them as a dime a dozen, bro. You feel me? I just think her status on top of you feel me? Because like, think about it like this. Imagine saying you not Ruby Rose. That's just like, come on, bro. Tell that's a, that's, that's that. a debate win. No matter what happens to me, you could be frying exactly, bro. I'd be like, hey, hey, quick question, quick question, Ruby. All right, nigga. <laughs> that's what that's what I thought. You sold Lotto. Nigga, I won Ruby fuck. <laughs> oh, yeah. Someone said a lot over those. I disagree, my boy. Um, you chat, chat that, requested okay, wait, us. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. My fault. Nah, sorry, don't do I'm this. Sorry. Don't listen. Do I've seen Lotto in person. I'm not saying she not. Lotto's crazy. Lotto's crazy. I just listen. I'm still taking. I'm still Ruby in six, but I ain't gonna. All listen. level scorer, lockdown defender. She's Giannis, nigga. Like generational, <laughs> bro. You I'm really got a lot of story no. though. Listen. Oh, so not, all not right, bad, listen. OG. He's scared. Okay, listen, 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 listen. I just want to know if all you run into her again, what would you say? That's really what I want to know. Let me, let me go ahead. Listen, go ahead. All, all I'm going to say is I, I missed a shot, but I'm taking that shit every single time. There is a universe somewhere out there where I hit that shot. I don't give a fuck. Listen, <laughs> I don't care. Oh, what happened? What happened? What happened so when you shoot, though? TK. I just, you know what? I took a shot I wasn't actually prepared for. It was too much time on the shot clock. You feel me? We were down a layup, and I pulled up a Steph three, thinking, you know that, you know what? Perfect analogy. Denzel Valentine shot on the Bulls. Oh <laughs> man, perfect oh. analogy. Like that wasn't your bag. You feel me? You weren't ready or prepared for that shot, but you were confident and you took it. 
Now, Lee. Denzel Valentine hit that shot. Different story. Everybody's 100%. crazy. Oh my god! But hindsight is twenty twenty, bro. Come on. Do, do you think? Do you think that that really like changed the dynamic of the whole night? They say that, but I think people are gassing it. She was gonna leave anyways, bro. Oh, like, she, left? Make, she left. Oh, look, she listen. Hear me out, right? Oh, so what had happened was that whole situation occurred. A couple more songs played, and then her and her entourage left. And you know. People want to say that, oh, you scared Lotto out the club. But supposedly, somebody sent a private jet for her to come get her, her mans. So I think she was leaving anyways, bro. Let's be for real, bro. Because she flew straight to Atlanta after that. You know what I'm saying? Somebody sent the PJ. She went her business. That's kind of convenient, though. You rather got cooked because she had the flight? I, I'm gonna even go as far as say you could have possibly got cooked because she had the flights and she wasn't even trying to talk. But hey, there's also a you scared her out of the club, my boy. You know what's crazy? A private jet is convenient. I ain't that's tough. Yeah, that's that's a coinky dink if I ever heard one. I what think if she that called your just... man. Pick me up. <laughs> That'd be crazy from, That'd from be crazy. Atlanta. Yes, yes. right now. Uh, yeah, no. she got an Uber. You you kicked her the fuck out. <laughs> if it was Uber, yeah, you kicked her out. But it was a flight. That's the only thing. You don't need, you don't need care, right? No, nah, yeah, I don't understand. Lotto's aura was crazy. Bro. Like, I'm telling you, generational talent, bro. I was beside myself. I had to. But, like I said, if I hit that shot, the narrative would be so different. Yeah, I'm not, mad. I'm I'm not mad at it. A lot of niggas is freezing up right there. Not okay. Not so, niggas, so, 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 how are you preparing for next time, though? Like, when oh, you I've been do... in the lab. I shoot that shot a thousand times a day. You got the lyrics down. Rip me out of classic. Crazy. I've been acting brand new. Everything, you got the lyrics. Man. Everything, bro. It's going What's your listen. routine? You know what I'm saying? I wake up in the morning. I say a prayer. I thank God for health and strength and the opportunity to be me. You feel me? Obviously, that's a blessing. I think everybody should do that. Right, and then right. I, I get 50 push-ups in, 50 sit-ups. I go outside. I run four laps around my community. I come back in the house. I sit at the computer and stare at an image of Lotto. And I say, next time it'll be different. I talk to myself. I put that into the energy, to air. Big spiritual thing. You feel me? And then I grab a bottle of Casamigos that I keep by my computer. Yeah, sure. And, I, and I, 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 you thought I was tripping? This I practice. <laughs> Boy, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I get a hundred of those in. I like right, this right, 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 right. <laughs> I get a hundred. I get a hundred bottle. I get a hundred drive the boat pours in practice. You feel me? Yeah. And then I put the bottle down and I prepare for street, man. And that's just how we do it, bro. You got, I got my me- technique. You got to memorize the lyrics though, because that's how I heard. Like Wabe was really turning it up because he knew the words. You got to. And you know lyrics. what? That's what made it real bad because Wabe really did have her turn, bro. Wabe had her turn and shit. You bro. look depressed, right? <laughs> <laughs> Not too much on Wabe, bro. Damn. No, Wabe. Nah, nah, Wabe, Wabe no, Wabe really had her turn to shit, and I really like sold. Bro. Wabe Damn. had her, like she was she was fucking with us, and then here come little old me. Oh. Wait, what'd you do? I tried nah, to hand it to Mike. Oh. He was supposed to take the shot. I, was I thought I thought shot. you were trying to make a TikTok or something like asking her to no, 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 hell no, hell no. Gayson thought that, like, I, 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 I feel thought like it was a mic. Oh no, you supposed to? You know, he was he <laughs> supposed to take that shot. I, I feel like you um, <sighs> dang. No, I, I read the play wrong, wrong, bro. Yeah, yeah, you did read the play. I wrong. thought I thought we was running a a, a a toss play, but really it was a screen. Did you I dance it off? Did you dance it off like hey? Oh no, no, listen, listen. Let me let me tell you let me tell you what happened. I had the bottle. She goes like this. But there's no alcohol in her section in sight. So I'm like, oh, read the play wrong. I think she wants a shot. So I'm like, yo, here you go. A lot of asking me for the bottle. I ain't gonna tell her no. Mm. Security come up like that, like the like Justin Fields on that. They smack that shit. Smack the shit out of me. Oh shit. Justin, Dang. He ain't touched me, but you feel me? He was like, yeah, hey, chill yeah. out, chill out. You know what I'm saying? So I took the sack, fumbled, they picked it up, scooped and scored to Atlanta. Dang, she was trying to get y'all lit to get y'all panties off, bro. You fucked that, yeah. You did fuck it up, but that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. I mean, you practicing. You 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 getting a laugh. I, I, I listen. It's not how many times you fall. It's how many times you get back up. I tell you what. This is what we need to do. <clears throat> I'm gonna call up Samson. Call up Wabe. I'm gonna call up Rage. We're gonna go out. We're gonna start at the bottom, right? I don't know. Where your area where they have the local, you know, night walkers, the street walkers, you know what I'm talking about, where the, the club that's $20 to get in. We need to go there first and we need to practice there and work our way up. 
All right? You think you think, you think I just you think the lights was just too bright? I think the lights was just too bright. So I, I think you know we need to work work our way down. Just get the baddest in the worst club, and and we're just gonna work our way up from there. And then eventually, it's gonna be think about it this way because the next time it's gonna be like Lotto, Ruby Rose, Ice Spice, Ice Spice. Um, Britney Renner. I don't. I don't know. Like, what if, what if it's an elite four? She only got thirty five. Mm. And then they say the same thing to you. I need you to be ready. <laughs> nah, yo, you're funny. You said she only got thirty five. Only got thirty five. She only got thirty five. Right. Got 35, so we gotta be. We gotta be ready. We gotta be ready next time. Are y'all cuffing Britney Renner? Now. It's thirty five. It's thirty five a lot. No, I really want to have this. Con- I don't want to have it's this. Thirty-five conversation. a lot. I mean, yes. by her age. Like, now, now look at this. Think about it like this: line up thirty-five niggas in front of you. Damn, you Yo, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Not me. Not not, no, I'm not saying that for cross. you, but just think oh. about it. Just line up thirty-five niggas and think but about over how a long thirty-five that year time span. Though I don't, I don't think that's. Well, so, so, she what? Wait, 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 wait. You think she been fucking every year? No, no, no. I understand. I understand. But I'm just saying she's not young. I understand. How old is she? Not young. She's thirty-five or thirty. She's thirty-five or thirty-two. Bezos, you believe it? But not in. Get a fact check on that, please. But she's not. But yeah, what's her age? Fuck this. Not when she was one, guys. Thirty-one. She's thirty-one. She's thirty-one. God. She's thirty-one with thirty-five bodies. So you remove. Let's let's assume she started early. Early as fifteen. Okay. All right. So that's two. That's two years. That's she's damn near. She's doing two Two a year. Is that bad? That's cap. (laughs) Cap. (laughs) That's not true. Then that's just not. Didn't didn't she say that she did three in a day? Oh. And, oh yeah, in 24 hours. Yeah, she so did she three in a day. Okay. So you're telling me there was one time that year she said, "Fuck it, this is this my fuck day, and I'm gonna have a cheat day this year." Well, but she was in. A, she was also in relationships. So 35 is possible. How many niggas did she? I'm not date saying to it's get impossible. To 35, but... bro. Like, you, think about it like this, bro. I'm I'm a, I'm an analogy guy. 35 right. points per game. And uh, like, come on, bro. That's that's numbers, nigga. <laughs> Like, Points per game. On, Where'd you bro. get the per game come from? On, bro. It's total. That's numbers, in nigga. hindsight, it's not that bad, but it's just it's numbers, lining up bro. 35. No, no, think think about it. Think about this. For, like the for, fucking for avatar us, state. Just look for at us the common dudes, for us common people, I think 35 is crazy because it is stretchy. But mind you, I think, I, and even for common people, I don't, I don't think it's too crazy. But for us, common think folks, common, like, man. Nah. I mean, because because niggas be niggas is different. I ain't but lie. you gotta understand, the a up. lot of women fuck few men. You feel me? There's a pool of men that like get a lot of women, and then the rest of niggas get one, two, three. But me? then there's a pool of women who fuck a lot of men as well. Like, and I think she she fits that. So just think about the baddest chick at your college or at your high school or whatever the case may be when she went on with her life. College went crazy. High school went crazy. Uh. And then she's in her 20s now. Well, all of her 20s went crazy as well. But she was also the bottle girl. She was also maybe a dancer. She also was just attractive. What I'm saying about Britney, it's possible that Britney was in situations, not possible. Britney was in situations where she was going to the club 10 times in a seven-day week. She she might have hit multiple clubs in one night. So at that point, if you're around all these attractive people, all these people with money, all these People filled with testosterone and egos and stuff like that. Yeah, y'all gonna be fucking. If if you was famous, would you not be fucking? Be honest. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> you got it. Yeah. You just got the option to fuck. Like I. W- Come on, I bro. Think I think it's boring it. after a while, though. And it probably would. Boring. But that's I, the, I'm that, not that, a that's number thirty-five. Whore. That's thirty-five. I'm, I'm not a natural whore. I've tried that. Just one for me. I don't. I don't even like texting that many people. Uh, so I'm not. A, I'm not lie, a natural bro. whore. Thinking about it, bro. My 2020 run. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Listen, I'm gonna be real with you. I rocked off that pandemic. What, nigga? Whoa. I was doing numbers, nigga. Man, nah, listen. I th- I really think like pre-COVID, it was under like ten, triple. Nigga, what is up with you? <laughs> what in that, with you triple in that ten one year? that year? So yeah, in yeah, that one year. Oh my god, what? Damn, boy. Wait, no or yes? Yeah. Oh, wow. I'm, a, I'm, I'm not gonna expose my number, but I'm, but I'm, but that's I'm, but that's what I'm saying though. Not, like with me, niggas, me, niggas, me, niggas, me and me and Brittany probably good. got like I'm probably like a little bit more than Brittany. You feel me? Oh yeah. Total, or just for that year? 
that year, nigga, do you think I'm Drake? I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> nigga, hold on, whoa, buddy. Let's be for real. Who well, you said you had 10 before 2020, and then you like, I had six it. previous 2020, and then like, and then you after it, right? 2020, I like tripled it. Okay. Like, tripled. okay. Okay, so think if you were crazy, think, I say that. think if 2022 was your life post high school, you could get those numbers up. Mm. That's why 35 isn't crazy to me. Like niggas, I don't are, think 35 is in actuality crazy, but it's just when you sit there. And 35 in general, like when you just think about it, if you take out everything else and just 35 people, it's not crazy. But 35 bodies per. Shorties is kind of crazy because I feel like women are kind of more selective with the people they deal with. Like a yeah, it's, it's a fucked up double standard out there, but double standards exist. I've been telling niggas they exist. Yeah, we man. can't act like you they can't, don't. You can't ignore them shits. Hmm. Now the only the only um it's interesting. The only reason why I wouldn't fuck Britney Renner, I seen her titties on Twitter. So I don't think I could um oh, uh, yeah. pizza, she cute uh, she cute enough for to give yeah, pepperoni or a pizza. Pizza. Well, they got she, no, no areolas. She does. Well, let me say this. It looked like you ever get. Crazy you ever seen like a a pool ball in a sock? I. Right. <laughs> yes. I know what? I don't know. You're talking about when it's in the pocket? No, 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 no. I'm I'm like a, a literal sock. A pool balls and socks. Okay, you lost me. You lost me. What do we? I can like, just imagine. What are you about to I thought you was crazy, Joan. And you know, let me see. Well, don't please don't oh, pool flash. Pool ball in a sock. Can you imagine swinging a pool ball in a socket somewhere? All right, let me. Uh... <laughs> Fuck you, Sam from my car. <laughs> Wild ass butter sock. All right, you see how the you see how the 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 ball is just pulling the sock down. Oh, really? Like right here. You, you hell, is... you hell, boy. Ah, oh. you hell, <laughs> you hell, man. Change this subject, man. Something like that. <laughs> Good. You hell, bro. I don't. I don't know why we keep talking about Britney because I just she. I think niggas is just clowning her for being a hoe at this point, and hoe is also a stretch. I love hoes, man. I'm about to say top tier personalities. Niggas, niggas doing too much. Top tier personalities. Hoes, dooters, sluts. Who who doesn't like that? Who hates women that think you're funny, think you're attractive, and actually like want to spend time with you? I, don't, I, don't I think you, uh, fooder so is like wifey material. I don't know. Oh my! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wifey is. Wifey's crazy, but I, I like I like I like fooders because they're they're most fun, bro. They're the ones that you want around. They're the best. Uh, in you feel me intercourse, you feel me because they the experience is lit. They down for anything and they own it, bro. One thing I can't stand is a fooder who don't own it. If you gonna be son, be that, bro. I respect it so much more. Don't pretend that you out here trying to be Saint Fourteen when really and truly, me, my homie, my homie down there, his cousin, the uncle. Like, come on, bro. Like, let's just rock out. You feel me? You and you're not cuffing though. Oh hell no. Yeah, but I was. I I put it this way. I'm not cuffing. But I was at a, a party the other day. And one jump was literally like, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. That love shit. It was a drinking game. Long story short, one of them was like, not gonna lie, that love shit is not for me. All the girls looking at her like, wow. Her, don't care. <laughs> that so you got some that. head that day? No. Come on, see. No, no, no. no I'm, so wrong. I'm not so lying. Wrong. I didn't do so nothing. That's an airball. So I ain't do nowhere. Yeah, I'm about to oh, say, I'm thought... not lying. I'm not lying. I didn't do nothing. It's not a good thing. Okay, I, I, think, I think it's not a good thing. Those are day, those are the women that you experiment with because she might have put her finger in there. So, um, I will say this though: I will cuff sexy red. I'm not. I I, I will you stand cuff by. sexy red. Absolutely, hundred percent. Cuff. Mm-hmm. She she's a fun person. I can tell. I'd be I friends with her. Yeah, I'd be cool with her. She gonna ride uh, for me no matter what. She be riding for her baby daddy. Both of them. Both of them. That nigga. Is that the one on the IG live? No, she only has one child. She only has one child. I don't know she where she has I, another nigga raising. Oh, she got a one child? child. She got two baby daddies and oh. one child. Oh, I ain't no ball. Oh no, I'm good. I'm good. What? Yeah. Yes, bro. She yeah, said that herself. She got two baby homie, daddies though. and one child. That be the homie though. You know, I, you know, I'm clocking out off of that, bro. You, you, you know, I'm done. You know. What I happens when both of them get out? No, you no. What those. happens when both of, them? or maybe one ain't getting out? Whoever win the shootout. <laughs> oh God. Why not let a fly? And Blueface lost his. Um, I do want to ask y'all this. All right, there's a clip going around. 
just the wild on these topics. Clip going around. Uh, Aiden says that he offered this one little white boy. Can I show this clip? We've been showing clips all week. Fuck it. Yeah. yeah. Definitely show this clip. Shouts out. And, and shouts out to Aiden. Apparently he's done more for black people than a lot of other streamers. So. Everybody keeps saying that. I don't know why. That's crazy to me. But it it's might like be the true. fifth time I heard something. It that. might be true. I, I offered VREWLS an exclusive deal. He declined it. He already had a page built up. I was going to pay him extra. I don't know if anyone even got through to him, but I was going to give him an extra pay. I, I... All right. Short clip. There's this little clip page. Oh, shit. I stopped streaming. Little clip page. Um, he was going to pay. Aiden was going to pay this dude 5K a week. 5, 5K a week just to make little TikToks. You know, clip up his stream and then put it on the internet. But it was exclusively. Um, oh. Exclusively Aiden's content? Exclusively yeah. Aiden's 20, content. 20 of my four exclusivity. So, so the clip channel already has a million followers. And the three main dudes sure. he clips up is Kai, Speed, and Aiden. Mostly Kai and Speed. And essentially Aiden hit him up to lessen clipping up Kai and Speed. And to essentially just be an Aiden clip channel. With the established 1 million followers. 420k a month. And bro, I'm gonna be real. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. He's probably making more than that. No, he's not. He's not. He clearly no, he specifically he said in the tweet that he did not. He, he doesn't make that much, nearly as much as. I'm about to say, not about. even close. Not even bro, close. He to turned that it much. down. Yeah. And the German. He said. He said. I, he said. I ha- for the love of the game, you know, I have a passion for clipping, um, and for the love of the game, I, you know. He didn't want to make his passion guys. become uh, his ho- a job, a career. Yeah, a career. So I'm gonna say something, and I got and, next. And <laughs> no disrespect to him, because I was talking about this earlier. In my show. No, train him. Run the train on him. You dick riding for free. <laughs> <laughs> you kind of stole what I was gonna say, man. I go, like, I- like, really think about what he's doing here. You are exclusively meat bouncing. <laughs> For no funds, not even close. Like if you it, like, this is why I was telling my chat earlier. The, like me personally, I'm a person. I, I the whole plug page on Twitter, TikTok. I get it. It's gonna get you views, but I really just think as a content creator, like if I'm gonna make content, if I'm gonna post content, I want it to be my shit. Like shit that I'm doing. I want to sit there and feel like I put my effort into it, my energy into this, and people are fucking with my content because it's me. Now I get it's the easy road. To clip Kai, to clip AMP, to clip Aiden, Speed, because you know it's gonna get views. Cool, but me personally, yeah. I feel like it's just no substance in that. Now, yeah. if you're doing it for twenty k a month and you're on contract getting paid, fuck the substance, nigga. <laughs> fuck the substance. You're getting your bread, but niggas yeah. is saying for the love of the game, you you putting Man. a condom on it and then sitting on it for the love of the game. <laughs> he done it right. <laughs> yeah, That's at this point, no lube. You just bro, bro, it over. Raw dogging and just because 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 apparently Buddy is like on it. Like as Aiden streams, the clips are out by the hour. Oh yeah, by the I minute. I seen a text message yeah. shit from some nigga telling his girl he couldn't get on the flight because he got a clip car shit. No, and I'm sitting there like, you getting is a he... check for this? Yeah, I'm about to say, is that dude getting paid? The one you know? No. I, I, I he better. He better. <laughs> God, please. I got a clip. I him. got to. I got to. That's a str- that's strange verbiage. I got to clip his stuff. No, you don't. I about to say, it'd it be one thing because people were trying to say my my replies like, yo, B-Souls, aren't you the, the one like very big on doing what you uh love, doing what you want for the love of the game instead of just doing everything for money? And I'm like, yeah, if it's your own content. I think if, if someone is trying to force you to do something that you don't want to do as a creator... When this is your brand, that's different than you already clipping up some dude and him telling you, yo, instead of clipping three people, actually lessen the work and just clip up me. And I'm paying you 20 bands. Of, that, that's the thing, too. 20 You're bands, getting bro. more for 20. doing less. It just yeah. don't make sense to me, bro. Yeah. 240? You making... $240,000. Generational money. Actual... Change it. And you know what's crazy? Bro's probably a young nigga. Like a young nigga. How old was bro? Yeah. No, probably like 16, 17, maybe. Pro- not probably young. 18. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't bet over 22, and that's lenient. That's that's yeah. straight up lenient. I'm you making man, my problem with this. My problem is that nigga said passion. Nigga, more than me. That nigga oh, said right that more nigga than, said I'm trying to do what I love to do. <laughs> Chat, everybody up here. 
we are actively recording the stream. I love making the content. I love talking to you all. I love being able to read chats such as he passionate about iMovie and he won the lotto. What I don't have a passion for iMovie is clicking <laughs> the fucking record button. The, the, I don't get I don't get a passion chat for <laughs> literally going like these. This is not a passion. Two, one, I don't give a fuck about this. I nah, swear that's really God. Crazy, that's really what I'm swear to God, doing. I don't. <laughs> ridiculous, bro. This is this is fucking ridiculous, bro. So you couldn't just. My thing is, I right, let's Look dumb it the fuck down. Let's say you love Kai, like that's your type shit. Let's say you love speed, that's your type shit. You couldn't just watch the shit in clip Aidens? Like it's that big a deal, bro. You couldn't. You you probably you got two forty bands on the way. You can get two monitors, nigga. It's that I don't, man. And don't this know, this my checkmate. And this is the last thing because I've been chatting. I never heard of a nigga say, "Did I fuck up?" And he didn't fuck up. I've never heard of a nigga. I yeah. never heard of a nigga talk to a jump and then not get her and walk back to the bros. Yo, did I sell that? Uh, nigga, did, did you? Like, what the what the fuck? What you mean? If you gotta ask that question, you know the answer, bro. Like, like did, did did I sell the basketball game? I don't know, bro. You just missed five threes, but hey, for, for, to each his own, I guess. Like, nigga, what? Twenty yeah. vans a month. Buddy so tripping, crazy. bro. What, what's nasty is what's nasty is because he didn't even the 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 TikTok that we just watched. He didn't clip that one. Or that may be his page, but I, I I don't think he clipped that one. No, that's not his clip. He didn't clip that one. He took that from. TikTok and put it on his own shit and proceeds to ask the question to the audience. Hey, did I did I sell this? And then them niggas said yes, and he was just in the replies and going to war. Like, yeah, going <laughs> going to war. Hey guys, y'all don't understand. This is a passion of mine. Yeah, sucking dick. I mean, <laughs> I say that one, but no, t- I, I, I say, I, no, 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 no. I, you know what? I say it. Nigga, yeah, me, is dick riding. Me, me Deep saying munching. that. Me saying that. I, I apologize. Like what? Come on, bro. for free, for free. He shares for free, nigga. <laughs> That's well, the thing yeah, too. If you was doing it for twenty right bands, now. okay. I, I can't say bands. nothing to you, bro. I'm- and you know what's crazy? Scoot I was over. talking about this earlier, no, let's stop. and I was like, I was like, you know what? How you Maybe them dude? niggas is making good money off that shit. You're telling me niggas don't make that much, nowhere near it. Mm-mm. No. So bro. these niggas just, you know what I think it is? Social media has gotten niggas caught up with the idea of having followers versus dollars. Like they like, yo, I got a million on TikTok. That means something. If you're not making money, it don't really mean shit. Like, you feel me? Like, yeah. it's cute in hindsight. Okay, I got a million followers. But what did you get a million followers for? Man, we talk about, you know like, is, we we talk about like, parasocial so many times. I think people get it fucked up. A million niggas ain't going to your funeral, bro. The same way niggas will say, oh, but the dollars ain't going to your grave. A million niggas not going to your funeral, bro. Of all them followers, maybe 20 of them. And you knew them niggas before you started making the shit. Like, this is ridiculous. You I know what it is, though? I, I think Bro clip pages. And balleting on three guys cocks for FRE. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what it is though. I, I I think um running clip pages is like the new IG. I'm trying to start a new sports page on Instagram. Like trying to make the new Bleacher Report for a lot of these kids, bro. Like instead of that being the thing, it's yo I'm gonna make a lit clip page for Kai, Speed, Aiden, and Rage, and all of these dudes that I watch, bro. But in actuality, they're just building up empty followers for someone else. They're not making bank off of it. There you, is a way you, to make bank off of it, but that you, if, he's, if he's legitimately saying he's not making bank, then at that point you he probably would get more growth. That's the part that's fucking me up. And y'all correct me if I'm wrong because y'all been doing it longer than me. Wouldn't he get more growth going to just Aiden and Nishan down? Mm-hmm. Fuck you yeah, I, 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 don't, I don't see. I don't see the, the argument. The only I, I would I would disagree with you, B Souls, only because um damn what did you just say? Oh, he's trying to do the new page. I think the real reason why he's doing it. Is because of the shout out that he just got. That shout out right there, that made his day. Having contact because apparently Aiden has like a Discord full of clip dudes. Having that little small interaction with Aiden Ross makes his day, makes his life. But I ain't gonna lie, if he's twenty, if he's let's say he's sub twenty two, mm-hmm. yo, bro, at some point you got you gonna have to grow up, and it's gonna be two things. One, you're not gonna get no types of pussy. It, like TK <laughs> just said, no way you're gonna tell a woman. Yo, babe, I can't go out tonight. Aiden's about to pull a. Uh, he's doing a subathon. He's doing a subathon. I can't. I can't really go out tonight right now, babe. Uh, can't miss out this one. Imagine, imagine I, him getting pissed every time the sub timer goes. God damn it, bro! I gotta stay on here for <laughs> oh, another he, twenty he, minutes. Fuck. I need to get more locked in. And then two, 
like you're not making no money on this. You're gonna have to get a job. Eventually, you're just gonna have to get a job. I don't think what what like Kurt. Nah, is, bro. He See? was offered a job. That's the annoying part. He was the dude's <laughs> like, it's, it's just so immature. And, and that's the only reason I don't want to like completely dunk on him because y'all saying he's sucking dick. It's too good. You're just straight up right. It's just like I know this nigga can't be past twenty two because no grown man is. No guaranteed that, money for I, what I, I might think, be I'm literally do. like, huh? Would I quit my shit for twenty bands, nigga? Like what, boy? Start the poll mods. Um, that's bad. Man. Who's better at sucking dick, that dude or Tiana Trump? I gotta know. I gotta know. I gotta see this channel. How often do he post? Um, I'll send you. I'll send you the ticket. Min- nigga, minutely. Okay. <laughs> he's uploading. <laughs> how many TikToks he's uploading a day, bro? That's the real question. That's a good question. question. That's, that's actually the real question. I got his shit pulled up. Let's actually see. Because this dude is a freak of mink. Is that is this his TikTok? Yeah, this is his TikTok. If he clips at a high rate, I'm going to be pissed. That nigga yeah, might that's as well. 100%. Why would he oh clip that? Oh, my God. All right. That was eight hours ago. Eight hours ago. Eight hours ago. Eight hours ago. 15 hours ago. 17 For hours free. ago. Three. You got to be kidding. 21, 22. 23. Yeah, numbers that, on. So that's all in a day. No, he good. Nobody's saying he trash. Yeah. I lost count as to how many in a day. Okay, he might do two. Okay, a day. so my thing is though, like, can we like let's be for real? Can you make or can you say a clip channel is good for getting numbers when it's not like your content? Actually, them doing I feel anything? that. Yeah. Like, like, because I feel like any clip channel could do that. It's just which one gets it first. There's a um I'll give I'll give got clip channels editors um some credit here. There's an art to being selective and what's funny to the most people. Cause yeah. some editors, man, I mean, I'll be like, this is the best part of the video. I can't wait to see this once like I got done streaming, and then it's not in there at it all. It never goes up, yeah. And then I'm like, you know what? I, I even did this one time. I uploaded a video that was just that segment. And when I saw that dumb numbers was basically the same, I'm like, no, nah, imagine if they were in the fucking Jesus Christ. So it was, it, nah, there's an art to being selective, but in general, I mean, obviously no. because not- Or just not posting enough to, which kind of goes hand in with what you mm-hmm. saying. So you think he generational, huh? Nah. <laughs> Turns of clipping, I mean. I, I, he picked, he picked, he picked, he picked he from the high you, end. You know who's generational? Keemstar. That's a generational. That's a generational talent right there. Oh my god! No, Ken. Ken, Ken say is. is. Ken, that's what they Ken say. But Ken C gets gets a bag off that, bro. Oh yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Like Ken C gets paid. You know what's crazy? I met Ken C at Con. Oh, he was there. He was there. He was there, bro. You didn't see him. Uh, he I'm was with say, um this is crazy, bro. Kai and uh Waki. Waki, funny. They called. I might have said something say crazy. I, you know, we raised, oh, we raised, rooms. we raised. Um, Ken say he was in the Creators Create Discord. He didn't know, know what to do. Raised, he didn't know what to do with his life for real. For real, was like, yo, bro, much, bro. clip Christ. for clip for Kai. No, let me stop. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> nah, hell, bro. Hey, man. Nah, he is. He is thriving. I ain't gonna lie. Designers out there. Shout out to Bar. Oh yeah, Bar. Not just him, bro. Yeah. I could I just couldn't do it. I, I think being glued to the computer so much. Um because even even they, they talk about it or tweet about it a little bit, but I think some of them are even starting to like hire other editors underneath them and they just pay them a hey man, they American for real. They paid them a couple dollars, collect the rest of the bread. That's real American of you. I fuck with it, but no nah, I think, margins. I think some of them were like, you know, during those subathons and stuff like that, they realized, yeah, I can't sit behind my computer for 30 days straight. Like I just can't do that type shit, but it is what it is. Um, did y'all did y'all see this clip with Jay Z? Yep, I sent it in. That was a potential hot take, but I had it in the backup. All cool. right, I think we're gonna have differing opinions on this, but I just say it for those that didn't see it. First of all, I am trying to get my hair just like Jay Z's right now. So really, just so y'all, that's why I haven't gotten a cut. Let me see your hair. You, good progress. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're on the you're on the way there. Yeah. Keep How long going. you been growing your shit out? Uh, since DreamCon, really. I ain't gonna lie to you. You, you just need to pick the, it out. Started, it just you, you, you 27 this year. You starting to get the uh the the the, the sides push shit. Like you feel me? Yo, TK, you have a hat on, nigga. <laughs> you have a hat on. 
Can you do bad. this? Yeah, can you stop? Yeah, can you stop moving yeah, your hands? Can you stop moving your hands? I got like my head in you, bro. I got like. No, he do this. His shit is long. No, no, but you just you listen, 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 listen. You just have cut your hair less than I have. Okay, that's mm. fine. That's perfectly fine. <laughs> that is absolutely fine. I'm not gonna lie, gang. This shit's on the sides right here, starting to push back. You might as well give it up. TK, so like you literally over here. TK, uh-huh. TK, TK, you, you literally, well up, you literally bro. have slits in your eyebrows right now. And Soldier okay, Boy that and mean? Tiger wants that. I'm not taking that from niggas with the Vegeta curse. You can do what you gotta do. Oh, buddy. <laughs> you can TK. do what you gotta do, buddy. And double slits is crazy. I ain't gonna lie to you. No, <laughs> you're disgusting. I'm playing this shit. You sick, you sick, You know bro. what I mean? Like you, you know, you'll have people that where you come from, if you behave in a certain manner, that ain't, it's not accustomed to where they are, right? Some people haven't evolved past 16. They still stuck in that place. But you <laughs> evolve every year. Mm-hmm. So that may be a threat to them. Subconsciously or consciously. You know who's on the other side of this? Kev back and funny because blah, blah, blah. You Kevin have to Hart? Navigate yeah. You have cousins. You got to go home for things. Nigga ain't grown You're since 16. Like Kevin Hart. <laughs> and you going home for solace. You want family. You're going home for peace of mind. You going home for peace of mind. <laughs> don't and your cousin is not, not. Your cousins in your grandma's living room saying, yo, man, I got this, uh, I got this play. I want to. If you just now, why he making his cousin sound like a crack? Nah, yeah, that, that, that's the only thing I'm gonna say. <laughs> he had to do is. Uh, you, you, I got this play. Say man, All right, bro. Say cousin. Give me. Damn. You know what I mean? Forty eight hundred. I could make you two million. You yeah. like it? Don't work like yeah. that, man. You got to explain to him like life isn't like that. If money isn't free, and it, no one's giving out opportunities. If it sounds too good to be true, it's really. And then he like oh, he gave make the value an opportunity. So. Where where did? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, if Meg the Stallion was in that section, I might fold too, though. I ain't going on. That's what I'm saying. Uh, I can't be mad at my father. You man. better than me. I, I, I would have froze up. I'm not going to lie. I would have you know, did with Lotto, though. But but Meg, though, I would have folded. I ain't going to lie to you. Dang. Um, all right. You worth a billion dollars. I think it's a simple question. You give me your cousin 4800 I don't. I don't know. $5,000, nigga, that's all? <laughs> A nigga asking for I'm a billionaire. Let's be real, bro. Jay Z pays like the price of his private jet fuel is more than that, bro. Come on, bro. Like, shit, man. I like it, it, it. The thing about this shit is, I hate when overly rich niggas make it seem like giving a handout to your cousin, even if he sell it. What is that five thousand dollars loss doing for you, bro? Okay, cool. He fumbled. Now I know. Next time you ask me, nah, I gave it to you and you fucked up. You're not even gonna get a nigga a chance. Come shit, on, bro. bro. That's fucked up, bro. And if, that, if you got a billion too, bro. It's not like he's like one of us and your cousin asks you for five bands. Yeah. And like, damn, what nigga, the fuck? Like, come on, bro. Oh, like, five is next scratching to y'all? Oh, no, I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. <laughs> I just, I, I, I knew he was going to disagree because I'm going to be the one nigga, bro. I seen in my personal experience, like when niggas get the handout and it don't work, what that leads to. And it's a ugly conversation one day. What does it lean to, bro? Man, like niggas, niggas are just like niggas will throw around like it. It was no violence, but niggas was just like they ain't love each other no more. And you would think prior to and like it was like this. It it it's, it got real toxic and explosive. I putting too much shit out there, and I wasn't involved. But I'm just seeing the shit as a kid it was crazy. Um, I would, but I'm establishing then and there. You fuck it up. One, you fuck it up. Don't ask me again. And two, this ain't how the world l- works. Like you got lucky. This, you what hey, the fuck? Hey, say? You got lucky, what's bro? wrong with you? I mean, what's wrong with you, cuzzo, man? Bro, God. that's bro, that's cuzzo. I do anything for the fam, especially if he need it, right? But my thing is, bro. Hey, I, I'm just I'm not trying to dox my uh, situation. I'm thinking of. So I'll say this: Imagine you give somebody like three thousand dollars, and with that three thousand dollars. <laughs> They say that they're going to invest into their business or anything. And let's run with the idea that that person actually did do exactly that. But because they don't have a direction, they didn't have a plan, and they just, like, teleported money into their account, the shit flopped crazy. And now that they've then gone on to prepare, they've gone on to grow from it, you as the lender, you're then sitting there like, do I want to give you another three now that you seem like you know what you're doing this time? Or do I just say, bro, you gotta you gotta stop sitting in your room playing and shit. You gotta go out there and actually like get the money while you're playing and shit. Cause now now at this point, you're just waiting on people to fund you for your shit to blow I, up. I only I only so, have one question. I only got one question. It's, 
I, I, I'm just thinking of something right I now. I think me and Omar got the same idea. Go ahead, though. Go ahead. Am I a billionaire in this scenario? Thank you. <laughs> I think, thank I you. Think, that's, it, bro. that's it. Bro. I just, because I, I want to see, I want to see niggas win, but hey, I hold on. I'll be right back. You good. good. Take a poop. Take a poop. I want to see poop. niggas win, but I want to see niggas win and be able to like keep winning. Like I want to see, I want to, I don't want to set nobody up to fall on their face. And I feel like if I just give you a handout, knowing one day you're going to fall on your face, unless I give you another handout, it, it's just like, mm. Like I don't, I don't want, I don't want you to be relying on me. I want you to like, cause I'm a prideful nigga. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to rely budget wise on even keep it a buck. If keep it a buck, grew to a fucking mill. I wouldn't the only rely on this channel. I, I like to rely on my own shit uh, to a degree, souls and sage, cause I'm, a, I'm a co owner that. But like, if it was just, just, just strictly live and die off, off of like other people, I can't. Mm. I, I feel mm. like Maybe if that's you're a pride. billionaire, bro, pride, give, giving your cousin five thousand dollars just one time it's kind of like that one subscription that you just gave out but you can't cancel because you just keep on forgetting to cancel you know what I'm saying? like it's not a big deal because you know it isn't a big deal so so uh, let me yeah. let me say this let me say this there's a couple things that i saw on the internet that makes sense and i and i've thought about this in my own life not saying that we're rich yeah low is a millionaire so what okay but um <laughs> No, so first, so first of all, for somebody who to put it on a relative scale, if you made fifty four thousand dollars a year, the 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 ratio, it would be a dime. So it'd be like giving out a dime. Now Jay Z doesn't have a billion dollars cash, but in the grand scheme of things, him giving out forty eight hundred dollars is giving a dime to his cousin. I think if your cousin asked for a yeah, dime, yeah, I, I seen I seen a nigga do that math, and I know you're I know you're way smarter to imply, and you just said it, but yeah, um, I know his net worth isn't exactly what's sitting in his account. The guy that tweeted that was ignorant. No, I but, think um, he, I, he meant the same thing too. I, I don't think it, 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 I don't think it needed to be said to be honest <laughs> yeah. with you. But ultimately, it's, it's giving a nigga. A but, dime. He got, but he got it. It uh, like I said, like I said, I'm giving pushback because. I've seen I've seen how weird it can get the one time you say no. So I've seen how weird that can get. How like the damn near violence between family members blood. That, that's just weird to me. But um But I think that's a different again, I think that's a different scale. So I want to try to put it to even a relative scale. Even if you're a multimillionaire, I, I believe in family first. That's just me. Family mm -hmm. is first. Family there's no reason. First. There's no reason why I should be accumulating this much money by myself. And then my wife also be accumulating that much money. And we have three kids and we're trying to do what we do with three kids. Yeah, you employ all these people, et cetera, et cetera. But what I would think somebody would do at that point is set up some way. And I saw this apparently Cedric the Entertainer did this. Set up some way for your family to have a stream of income. Thank you. I agree. If you if you could set up some way, we're talking about an extreme amount of money. Even if we don't talk about a billion, if we're talking about hundreds of millions or multi millions, set up a way a real estate portfolio where there's a cash payout quarterly or something like that. Um, a, a subsection of businesses uh, where truly it's hey, it's hands off. This thing is just going to generate money, and then this is for the family to use. For what they need it for. So if JR needs $4,800, it'll be a payout every quarter. Everybody will be at $4,800. I love my family, though. I'm not saying that Jay-Z doesn't love his family. Mm -hmm. I love my family a lot. I would think that that is something that I could do, especially for my cousins. Like, at that point, at the 40-year-old age that Jay-Z is, the cousins that I'm seeing are probably the cousins that I've been rocking with my whole life. Right. Yeah, bro, yeah. I can go ahead. You don't, get, you don't get random visitations at 40. I'll give you that. You don't and get I'll, new cousins, and, and not it, too new. That part too, Who and I'll you? even go a step there. I'll go a step there because you kind of alluded to what I was going to say in general. Um, What's it called? What's it called? Oh, yeah. Not a trust, you made, bro. bro. When you made bro sound like a crackhead, that's all I'm like, all right, you just don't really rock with bro. Like, you like he, he either don't rock with him or he actually is a crackhead. One of the two. I would say the solution to this is to give them niggas, and you're a billionaire, so I know you have somewhere for that nigga to work. I I know you have a family business or, or start one if you don't have it or a, a company where they can just be picking up the phone, bro, or some shit. If he need the money, fuck it. Now, if it's a passion thing, if you seen a nigga fall on his face six times, fuck him. Now, I ain't gonna lie. If you seen a, you seen a nigga want to be a rapper, god damn it. It ain't your mic. It ain't your studio. It's your fucking lyrics. It's your, it's your promotion with something else. But, um... Nah, I I I'm all for 
getting my getting niggas paid, getting people I care about paid, but handouts. I'm just I'm just a prideful nigga. So I like on the other end, I don't see myself ever really asking unless I'm trolling. So maybe that's why it's it's a, I it's would a ask. way to think. It's a fucked up way of thinking, but that's just how I am. I would I would ask for the money, but also I think I would tell them, and also I probably would use it for like I already have this foundation set up on YouTube. So whatever you do with X amount of dollars that you give me, I would put it into YouTube anyway. So, but I, at that point, I have a foundation set up. I just don't. I, I don't think. I think it's crazy, especially when we talk about you know Jay Z gentrifying hoods and claiming to put affordable housing in places, but not really putting affordable housing in places. Like, Jay-Z's done some billionaire stuff. Yeah, now, that, so, that's, that's the one thing I'll give niggas on Twitter. Or not, come on, bro. The second thing I'll give niggas on Twitter is that uh, apparently Jay-Z walks like a duck, and this is cracking, so it's like, uh-oh. But um, I don't know ball. I don't, I don't know what the, no, he's done, know what he's done some. Do he's done some billionaire stuff. Yeah. Your cousin asked for 4800 Go ahead and give your cousin 4800 big dog. Yeah, I still just, gave him the money. I just... Has it he, at a exactly. certain point in time, you have so much money that certain money, and we gotta understand that he's also generating income. So the forty eight hundred he gives to his cousin will be made in a couple of seconds. The moment he gives it away, like it'll regenerate into yeah. his account. So like, what are you tripping off of? It is stupid. I'm, I'm asking all this. What is what is the most you you guys would give a cousin? Oh, my, I wife, my cousin a million dollars. If, if, you, if you're Jay Z, if you're Jay Z, oh, if I'm Jay Z, I would give. I would yeah. legitimately give my cousin my life. I strong. I, I strong ain't giving my cousin shit. shit. How about that? No, I ain't shit. giving no him shit. What's up? I ain't giving him shit. You Ladies said, gentlemen, you said, my third and nice snack. I ain't giving my cousins nothing. No, I'm joking. I'm sorry, guys. I just wanted to you good, pop brother. in and say hi. Well, tell Paula, what's going on, bro? How you doing today, man? How you doing, man? Doing, doing great. Doing Is great. It that looks different. Hey, 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 your, um, hey, hey, hey. I don't know what I'm not in the bathroom no Tied more. Hey, I'm not in jail no more. Hey, man. You see the plaque in the back? Oh, oh time to keep the plaque in the back. I don't know. It don't, it don't hit the same. Yeah, it don't yeah. hit the same. Man. <laughs> oh, he hate no, you hate him. Hey, turn your head. Let me see, sir. Turn your oh, yeah, head. The, oh, yeah. The patch? The patch in the back? <laughs> what are you talking about? She had patch shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to get a rat tail. I got to let it grow. I hate it. Yeah. Yeah. He lost the bet, brothers. Oh, you I lost a bet? I lost a bet with chat, and <laughs> I just stuck with bet. it. Now nah, I like it. I, I, I fucked around. I like it. That shit. I like. Nah, this is crazy. Yeah, nah, nah, nah. I lost a bet with my with my chat on my stream. I, I, I mean, it's not like the it. most. Like, like I can't even judge you because it's not. The, I've done some things, losing bets type shit. So I ain't not hey, yo. Crazy. Well, I'm I sorry, think, guys. I didn't want to. I ain't want to just derail the show. No, no, no. Before you go, I think I think we should all get back to our roots. I think we should all get webcams. We should all get blue yetis. Uh, hell, not even blue yetis. We should all get iPhones. Nah, we need to go lower. Now, is that your? Would Would you first start off with TK? Like as a setup? This is the first mic. Oh no, I had one of them. Uh, I had like one of them mic boom shits with the uh the little red box uh amp mix. Yeah, let's my shit used to my shit used to do the static shit. My shit was crazy. Let's get back Either. to that, man. We don't need all this. We don't no. need all this. Shit. I'm finna stream off my iPhone for real, bro. Damo, where's the nearest closet to you? Over there. Hop in it, man. I ain't gonna lie. We getting back to the oh roots. No, we not hungry yeah. enough no more. I've been thinking about this. Hold on, y'all. We're not hungry enough. Nah, we not hungry no more, bro. I'm doing shorts I'm again. right now. You're not straight for a lie. I'm, after getting this spot, I'm hungry as shit. No cap. I'm, <laughs> you're not I'm hungry. 14 days, after my taxes hit, hit, nigga, I'm starving. I'm, nigga. Get it, bro. Taxes, taxes I'm hungry, nigga. I read the story of RDC. Mark said, I need a 10 bed or 10 bands house. Oh, my God. Why are we not putting ourselves in situations like that? I did. <laughs> 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 what do you mean? I did. I took his advice. So we need. Like, we need it, go big. You got a three bed. Hey, nah. hey, 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 hey! But it's hey. I ain't gonna lie. You put it on Twitter. It's affordable. It's a hey. It's affordable. I ain't gonna lie to you. I, I didn't put myself yeah. in market situation. It's affordable. Nah. But yeah, man. I'm, I'm not trying to devalue everything. I just want to pop in, give my appreciations because again, I'm in a new spot. I don't know. I'm proud if it of you, man. Like that ass. I want echoey because I ain't got you shit in here. Great, man. I'm still with my mama. But yeah. Sure. Um. Nah, dead ass though. I, I just wanted yeah, to pop man. in and, and thank my niggas up here. All three of these guys. Like I genuinely, I would not be here. Genuinely, would TK, not be man. here. It, hey. <laughs> I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for them, bro. And, and, and thank you to the community, bro. Like niggas, that has changed my life. Like no cap. I 
unbelievable shit going on in my life. And I, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for these three niggas, these three masterminds. I'm just a funny nigga. I promise you. This is crazy. <laughs> I, I'm just a funny nigga. These three niggas up here changed the nigga's life. So I just had to give my appreciation because I'm looking around and I'm like, bro, I can't believe it. But Thank yeah, you, man, man, love y'all. Love the community. I will be back. Hey, bro. I'll be back Thursday, man. But y'all I'm, get back, up, y'all I'm get up next, man. I'm up next, twin. Just stay tuned. Oh, the Sage Man's gonna go crazy. Yeah. That's man? Nah, it's yeah. not six bedroom. Don't get it at this Facts. point. I'm telling you. Yeah. Nah, nah, nah. And take your car back. But enjoy, enjoy your career. Okay. Enjoy your career. I will, I will, I will. But y'all niggas be easy, man. Hey, TK, I'm mad I had to miss this episode. I, I, I'll fuck with you, gang. Oh, we will chat. Uh, next time. I'm gonna be back, though. Bet, 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 bet. Who designed right, it? Man. Last question. Who designing it? <laughs> you designing it? Designing the house? Yeah, decorating and shit. I'm only de- I, I agree with my girl. I'm only decorating my office and I get to put a um I'm getting a Koski rug and I'm putting it downstairs. Other than that, she's doing everything. Okay. Mm, <laughs> I respect it. I respect it. I fuck with that, man. She gave me the rug. I was like, I'll take it. I'll take the rug. I ain't gonna hold you. I'll take the rug. But um, all right, man. Y'all niggas right, be easy. Love y'all for real. Peace. Peace. I love you too, gang. I feel like um I, I wouldn't want to decorate. I ain't decorate shit up in here. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna have to. Like, I don't live with. TK, no I got girl. a question, bro. What's up? How how often do you stream? Like typical, like typical stream. How how long do you stream for? Mm, Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, three thirty till whenever. Usually like eight hours. Mm. How do you, okay, that's the answer I was looking for. How do you do that, bro? Streaming See, for eight? Because I, I stream for like I tried to stream for four today, and I got tired as fuck by hour. I can three, do bro. four. Okay. Listen, it's it's one. You got to get used to it. So you got to build your way there. Like for me, I was three hour streams, five, six, and then slowly start working up there. So your body gets accustomed to being in one spot for so long. But it's also like scheduling what you're doing appropriately. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of times with longer streams, if you catch to that point where you're like six, seven hours and you just don't know what you're going to do, you start to feel like, yeah, all right, I'm just grabbing at straws but if you have a set schedule all right for an hour two hours i'm gonna do reactions then i'm gonna play a game for a little bit then i'm gonna talk to my chat niggas then i'm gonna do reddit however long and you get it out like that time flies like i've been live for what six hours now and i don't even know it now. like you feel me i, I could Jesus go crazy. another six if i really wanted to i'm not going to chat oh. but i could <laughs> you know what I mean? like what's up to see was it too Sue Wetsy? I don't know how you say that. But yeah. Do you be doing uh I could I could even do eight hours. I've done eight hours before, but I can't do eight hours reactions. Do you be doing just smack reactions for eight hours? Or do you have to get on the game? I gotta get on the game. I gotta get on eight hours, no gaming. Eight hours, no gaming. I could do I've done eight hours, no gaming. I can't do that. I've done like but gaming like, is the ultimate, like, let's fill some hours in type shit. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> but like I feel like my greatest thing is how versatile I am on stream. Like, we'll mm. really, like, we could watch, like, anime. And that's, like, a 20-minute segment, a couple episodes, you feel me? I've done streams where we watched whole series of, like, 12-episode animes in one stream, one sitting. Like, you feel me? There was a point in time where I was knocking on a 24-hour every Friday type shit. Like, back in the Damn. old crib, I was doing 24 hours, like, just going so straight. So this nigga rich, too. God damn. Oh, nah, bro, hold on. Um... I mean, I'm very grateful for my community because if we be real, like, I've only been on the internet, like, since, like, 2019. Like, 2019, um, Rage introduced me to Discord. I was in his Discord. That's when my first, like, interaction with Discord was, like, 2017, 2018. 2019, he was like, yo, get a computer so we could play games. He was streaming. And he was like, yo, play this game with me. And I was like, okay. And me back then, I was working at Home Depot, so I'd get out for work. Tired of shit and be like, all right, how you how you set up a what's a Steam account? <laughs> like, mm, you feel me? Yeah. And then slowly and surely, you feel me? I started like growing and doing my own thing. So I'm very grateful for my community. I mean, it's been a short time in here, but I'm glad at where I've made it to. They helped me get this place. Feel mm, me? Type shit. Uh, mm. Yeah, man. They helped me get to the part where I mean, you know, you you kind of made it when you go outside and your neighbors wave at you. White people oh my God. Sh- <laughs> shit too, and they're like, "How you doing?" I'm like. I'm doing good, sir. I'm good, man. <laughs> I'm like, right. how you doing? But yeah, when, nah, I'm, I'm glad. When you first made um, 18 bands a month, what, you, what was your first purchase? Oh, shit. Wrong thing, bro. I, I meant to do this. The uh, first time I made... 25 bands a month. 
Okay, I've only ever made 25 bands twice. Okay, so you've made it. Okay, okay. I've okay. made it. Now, I, I'm not going to say here bullshit. I've made 25 bands in a month before. But um, most of my purchases are usually like business moves. So like I reinvested my money. Like I saved some of it, Roth IRA. And then I like, for instance, I made a like GTA server. So I put money into that. I put money into like... You may, Omar, you making a face, but a GTA <laughs> servers. I no, no, no. Bro, I saw, uh, I, we were trying to make one for Let's Keep It a Buck, and I was doing some research, bro. Someone's putting in like 20000 a month and returns like 30000 or some shit. No, no, no. Know. The microtransactions crazy. is crazy. Tell me about the chain, nigga. Come on, bro. Oh, I'm going to be honest with you. I probably won't ever get a chain. Why not? Uh, I don't know, man. I just, I'm, I'm not a very flashy nigga. Like, I'll get a watch, I'll get like a Rolex or something. But I've never been like a very like materialistic person, flashy type dude. So if I did get a chain, it would purely be because my chat niggas was like, yo, TK, get a chain, get a chain, get a scum chain. And I probably wouldn't. Oh. Gotta be a sub goal. Does that sound good though? That sound, that sound good. A sub goal? Scum? Hey man, 5K subs, I get a chain? That'd be tough. But like... Putting scum on a chain. So, so, but the reason why I say that is because like, I feel like the chain oh, gives you. <laughs> A level of what is it? I feel like the I feel like the chain gives you a level of like clout. You know what I'm saying? That you can't get without the chain. So like, I next definitely time, have seen and experienced that. You feel that's me? What I'm, so you yeah, okay, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And you right? know exactly what I'm talking about. I've been yeah. in the club in the situations and the lights get to pointing at us and the chain starts sparkling. And you oh, sitting there with I, your nice little t-shirt and you like, yep, okay. Your, t- your t-shirt iron though. My t-shirt is iron, you feel me? <laughs> yeah, you know I mean, <laughs> I'm here like checking my Apple Watch, my heart rate, all right. I'm like, okay, cool, cool, cool. I ain't gonna lie, I recorded a little uh cause cause me and my girl want to do like a what's it called? A housewarming. So then I, I recorded a little video where I had like a little sparkling juice bottle, and I was like, you know how niggas be in the club like this. Eh. But my wrist was Oh, bear! <laughs> just a, just imagine two bear wrists, and I am yeah. the, the nastiest part is I got small ass wrists, y'all. So like, yeah. like these baby ass wrists with no watch on it. So I feel like I feel like honestly, it's time to ice up, man. It's time yeah, to ice time up. To ice up. I, I, I've been thinking he's about had this. He's had this idea since DreamCon. The way they I wasn't rocking with it been, until I really like. I told sit, him. You know I told saying? you he was kind of cooking. And I don't know about the ways that he wants to cook. I don't know if we're going to say it. four chains. The ways that he wants to cook is nasty. <laughs> so so y'all think about chains is the best. Yeah. That's not like that idea. That'll be fake for sure, but it, who will know? Who will know? I mean, like, if we being real, I see a diamond tester. I'm taking off anyways. But if we being for real, fake it till you make it. It, no, honestly, at I, that point, you made it. I think I think <laughs> exactly. Like, I, I buy a fake shirt. I'm not wearing fake shoes. That's the only if, thing. If I, if I get oh, diamond no, I tested, now fake shoes is kind of crazy. Shouts out to the you know the replica game, but nah. if I get if I get diamond if I see a diamond no, tester though, no, I'm gonna run. Your Jordan, your Jordan logo backwards. Yeah. Bro. I'm your Jordan you. logo got a butt crack. What? Hey, that's that's for them. That's not <laughs> for me. I, I say if if I see somebody with a fake cha- or if I have a fake chain and I see somebody with a diamond tester, I'm actually going to it because then I'm gonna just turn that into some more content, right? Get the ice box discount, take like five k mm. off, and I'ma just you know what I'm saying. Listen, I, I see how the shade be moving. I see how Kai be moving. I feel like oh my. <laughs> besides like a little age, and then okay, they got a slightly better hairline. Like, what's the difference between me and them? Nothing, bro. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Cloud. Rip me out the plastic, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like no, I, I, dead ass though. I, I'm, I'm being serious about the chains. Um, I do want to ask y'all this though. I do want to ask y'all this. So I saw this on my timeline. I feel like this was pretty interesting. I'm, I'm gonna toss it to be so and sage next. But so this guy Mel, he said, uh, "I help this girl that I'm dating get a six figure job as a data scientist. My birthday is coming soon. Now we see if I'm finally getting that Rolex. Fingers crossed." Right, he's expecting the Rolex from the girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got her six. He got her six figure job. Where he fucked up. <laughs> so, he, <laughs> he, <laughs> that's where he fucked up. You expected your girl to get you something like that, bro? Come on, bro. So oh, he posts. Really? He, what posts a on, he posts with the girl gets him. Cause now, mind you, he's in tech. He, he makes some money, but he posts with the girl gets him. It is an Armani Exchange watch 
Fuck bracelet that. combo. Okay. <laughs> okay. What the fuck? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> I don't know watches. Is that good or, or bad? Nigga, He's what? Dope. She Not went to Macy's over. and got a three hundred dollar watch. So it's it's like it's like you won in an Apple Watch and she got you a G Shock. Like, whoa, whoa, not too much on G-Shocks. <laughs> I thought G-Shocks were good. G-Shocks were hard. I think so they were. You wanted an Apple Watch and she bought you the Spongebob bitch that come out the, the cereal okay. box. <laughs> no, oh, I thought you were going to say the little pinball machine joke. Oh, that's so, fucked up. So is he wrong? Because honestly, I ain't going to lie. Is this, this a new rap- cake question, bro? <laughs> yeah, this I, ain't the same. I, I, this ain't I, the same as cake. That's just, yeah. that's just... Wrap the pussy up again, okay? Yeah. <laughs> present that. I don't need that, but... Do y'all feel like, you know, what? Do y'all feel like she was wrong for giving? <laughs> she got him. She, did he tell her he wanted a Rolex? Let's assume that he did because he the way he talking about it on Twitter. And please don't tell me he said he wanted a watch because you know, his expectations were way too fucking high, bro. Yo, even well, if I say saying, watch, bro. if I say watch and you get me that, don't please. I promise you, just, <laughs> man, don't make me cuss. Just, just like, I feel like that's more disrespectful than not getting me anything because you Thank tried you. and then like, but you tried and did some fubu shit. You feel me? Yeah. Like, now think about it. I always like to reverse the roles. If my girl says she wanted a Birkin and I got her, uh, uh, what's that? Tom Ford from Macy's. Mm. How would she feel? Or MK? How much MK? Now, MK's is like four hundred dollars, though. No mind. Yeah, Michael yeah, Kors actually, wallets. Actually, how? I don't Michael know. Kors wallets. You could get a nice Michael Kors wallet for like four hundred dollars, bro. Tripping. Is it Michael Kors? I don't know. I'm pretty sure. A I Michael mean, Kors you... wallet for four. First of all, no, you know no. What I'm let me know right that's now. way too high. That's that way too like high. That sounds like a Gucci wallet. Am I tripping? Maybe. Yeah. I don't know, something like that. But... I'm on the shopping tab right now. I was going now, wallet like, shopping the, like two months ago. Oh, I was cooking me for wanting a, a Gucci no, he, wallet. No, he bought his own. He bought himself a... <laughs> okay. He bought himself a go yard, motherfucker. Damn, go here. That shit is for 50 bucks. What? A Wait, large I, don't, one, I don't buy purses, so I was just throwing out numbers, but... A wallet, wallet for one thirty. A uh, purse. Let me see a purse, Tom. Bro. I think if you put your girl, and this is, and this is, see, this is why you don't share nothing with women. I feel like if you put your girl on some game like that to get her to that level, I'm not saying the Rolex because the Rolex might be a lot. Even if you, you know, get you a little used Rolex for five thousand dollars, something like that, it might be a lot. Please don't get me the TJ Maxx joint though. That's a TJ Maxx. That's fair. Joint. Yeah. Don't give me the TJ Maxx. That's like me making my girlfriend a streamer, and she really like she boss up. And her gift for me is <laughs> TJ Maxx watch. Man, put put the pussy <laughs> put the snowball. pussy in the bag yeah, I'm about to say <laughs> until snowball. you can afford some new shit. I'm not taking that weak ass shit. Nah, this ain't this ain't identical to the cake one for the gotchas in the community. Nah, this is different. That's I don't even know ball on watches like that. I'm not gonna cap like I do. But I do know I've walked past that watch maybe 40 <laughs> times in the time. And I, I think I seen that when Sears was around, man. Like, this is crazy. Nah. Nah. The all Fuck gold, bruh. Yep. Yeah, bro. The all gold is super nasty. He's bugging for expecting a Rolex, though. Can we agree on that? Or, like, no? Uh, he bugging for A Rolex time. is like 30. Isn't, isn't he, a Rolex he, like 30 bands? 20 bands? He like. I don't, I mean, he got a six figure job, but like, I don't think that's like, you know, normal to expect a Rolex. But like, when he I said mean, six I figure, I'm, I'm thinking like 100K. Not, is, if, if, he's making, if she's making 900K, is different. But if she's just making like 100K, like, yeah. oh yeah, if he, she's making 100K, that's a joke. But, um, mm-hmm. Nah, um, I, my only thing is if he'd said Rolex, she should have said, fuck, no, I'm not getting you no wild ass watch or some shit like that. Yeah. But getting that nigga watch like that, I. I don't know. I might disagree. I don't know ball on the watch though. So I don't expect nothing. Bugging. So that way disappointment can't hit some me like that. And your girl buys you some Roche runs instead. <laughs> <laughs> and mind you, mind you, oh, you just put that? That but you one. put her on game. So I'm looking at yeah. used Rolexes. Like a used Rolex can get you five thousand dollars. I don't think he wanted the specific thirty thousand. Now I know Rolex is a lot, mm-hmm. but I know people were like, oh, it's. it's why would you do that on a birthday gift? I think it's a combination of things. Like, I don't know what she was doing before. Probably lashes and nails and shit. Oh, God. Yo, he just sets you up for life to where you'll be a six-figure earner for the rest of your life. Like, he bossed you up. Right? Yeah, if don't, I, you, don't you rent those? I'm sorry, cut you off. Don't you rent like, what? No, 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 the like, finance those. I meant to say finance. Oh, yeah, you can find, you can find, yeah, you can finance the watch too, but like. You think it's financing watches? Okay, every everybody is in sections with Lotto. Okay, 
Everybody, I'm, listen, I'm but like you know what, and I'll say this. Oh, I didn't out. know how much like shit was cap because I'm a very gullible person sometimes. So when I see shit, I'm like, oh, he bought a watch, cool. I didn't know niggas was financing watches. That nigga paid for yes. that for one more month. He's taking that back, boy. Nigga. Like, Y'all saw when Bruce went on um sneaker shopping? That nigga said he returned all that stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. Half of the people in those videos returned. Yes. Things. Half of the people do. I don't know that. I think I even more than half, actually. They definitely be like, yeah, I'm taking that shit back. You bugging. Bruce went on stream and was like, I I I returned that stuff and then checked the prices on GOAT or StockX. They had it for like a third of the price on those websites as opposed to in that store. Niggas find this shit on Amazon. Maybe I'm different because I'll be buying okay, shit. Now that's crazy. Now you financing can't, you can't on, find Amazon. That shit on Amazon. So I thought that was the equivalent okay. to you wanting an iPad and your girl buying you a Nook. <laughs> a Nook is no. <laughs> a Kindle Fire. I, I forgot about <laughs> Nooks, man. What now, happened? Maybe, to maybe if they buying furniture off of a um, Amazon, but nah, that anything. Yeah, I'm financing crazy, furniture man. right now for like a couple months, like four months type shit. That's what I'm saying, bro. Fiscally responsible. Zero percent interest too. So all I'm saying is like, all right, even even my age, 27. She the the girl is 27, and he puts her on to a hundred k job. She's not gonna retire for another 25 plus years. That's 25 plus years where your income is elevated. Even if you don't, even if you're not with that dude in three more months, he changed your life forever. Mm -hmm. He was doing lashes and shit like that, like. Get her nigga Rolex at least type shit. I see what you're coming from. And I'm not even saying I'm not saying I'm not saying at least a Rolex. Let me let me be clear because I know niggas is gonna cook me. I'm not saying at least a Rolex. Buy more than the Armani Exchange, all gold, (laughs) motherfucker. I I feel it. I feel it. Chat then turned against us. By the way, they said this is a rich nigga conversation. I'm not rich. I'm not. I keep telling these niggas I'm not rich. What 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 would y'all, y'all I was about to say what what would y'all, y'all have to, what's the metric of rich to y'all? What, like what do you what in your personal life would have to happen for you to be like, you know what? I am you rich. got money. If I was if I was consistent, not even consistently, because I haven't done it. What I'm about to say consistent for. If I was making six figures, I'd probably just go there off of Twitter standards of what rich is. But uh wait, make, so wait, okay. Well, oh. Making six figures is rich. Is it God. not? Got him. <laughs> got him. Wait, 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 the with the the mark of six figures, you are rich. Yeah, I, I'd say I'd say once you're making six figures, you're definitely above most people. I think rich you definitely at two hundred at that point. You just I don't even it. think it starts at a hundred. Yeah. I think it starts at like eighty. You make eighty k a year. Rich at eighty. Nah, I don't know. Thank you. I'm about What's the wouldn't... difference in quality of life between eighty and one hundred k? Different tax bracket, was it right? I no, mean, I'm, I'm talking about different quality of okay, life. So like, what can you, you think, afford you at 80k pay? that you can Okay, own? so cars. What 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 you, 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 what you is like fucking cars at 100? How much do you, you pay in taxes, right, to be considered rich? No, 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 no. What? Well, <laughs> like, how much? Let's look at it like that. How much? Well, say, TK give me a number a that you got to be taxed. What? Wow, TK can hold a can I hold a million big two, bro? Oh, that was a TTS. Yeah. You saying why? Why? Say it again. Okay. Give me a number that you should pay in taxes that would consider you rich. Like, say, oh, you pay 10K in taxes, you pay 20, 30. How much do you think paying in taxes equates to like? Well, I don't, I don't, I don't look at it that way because some niggas don't taxes. pay taxes. Like, like Jeff Bezos doesn't pay taxes. My oh, brother don't, true. my yeah, brother don't pay off. taxes. Oh, wow. Well, um, so like, I'm, I'm, <laughs> oh, don't pay taxes. <laughs> <laughs> See, and you just got to speed past sometimes. But so, but so what I'm saying to you I is, so we know we know what Sage's number is. TK, what is the what, and not even number? I'm not even asking for number. What's the metric? What has to happen in your life? Like if you say, "Oh, I got to get a new car," mom, and dude's got to like, be able to ask me for ten thousand dollars, and I just toss it, huh? No worries. I feel like that's rich. <laughs> if she asked for ten right now, you couldn't toss it to her. 
I'd have to be like, all right, let me go put this over here and do this and this. And I'm gonna some need niggas it can't months. do that at all. Some niggas I'm gonna can't need do that it. At I, all. In three months' time, if I'm not seeing a deposit back, I'm gonna be like, hey, bro, what happened to my like? Come on, like this, like my oh, dudes. Man, feel oh, me? God. These rich ass niggas, chat. <laughs> so you can have a house. In, here, wait, wait, so you can have a house in a good neighborhood, have fiber internet, have a BMW, and you still wouldn't consider yourself rich if you can't. I, know I got a BMW. I didn't Nobody know. said that. All the oh, self snitch. Oh, 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 Okay. Oh, well. He can afford the parts, mind you, because them BMW parts ain't cheap. Listen, he gave <laughs> 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 them shit's not cheap. Um, two. I don't know, man. I guess you could say I, I think I'm well off. I wouldn't say I'm rich though. I think I'm well off, okay. Like, man. Record with the pink. I'm not a superstar. Up. I'm an all star. <laughs> all star. Come on, dude. I mean, I'm not. I'm not like. You're right. It's cool. it's no, cool. no, no. I, I, I get some minutes in the All Star game. There's levels to be rich, but no, you're no, rich. No, no, no. I think cool, I think man. the thing that I think that you I think the thing is because now that you're in different circles, like you're comparing rich up. Who the fuck? <laughs> you're comparing rich up, not rich down. So like, mm. so compared to like your friends, like you compare yourself to Rage. Okay, maybe I'm not rich. I'm not rich. You know, maybe. Yeah. But when you were working at Home Depot. <laughs> Compared to what you are right now, come hey, on, bro. that he got him. Rich, uh, that's fact. I mean, that's fact. when I was working at Home Depot, I'm not gonna lie. So, and this is crazy to me because I look back and I'd be like, "How the hell did I survive?" On I know that's right. <laughs> Damn it! I'd be looking like I'd be like, "Nigga, you was thirteen dollars an hour." Wait, wait, thirteen? Someone in chat says you have a a fifteen thousand dollar dog. Dollar dog? Is he lying? Get this rich bastard out of my son. Okay, bro. Get, get okay, that's, that's so federal, bro. That's so federal, bro. Get this so rich federal, bastard bro. out of my son. Like, okay, bro. Listen, bro. Listen, bro. First off, Apollo wasn't 15K. Secondly, he's a he's a good breed pit bull. He's one of the XL pit bulls. You know what I mean? Rage had a, a litter, and I, I caught one. Like, come on, bro. Designer bully. He's not a designer bully, bro. It was eight, it was eight chat. How so, many I'll, I'll, be, I'll say this though, so is your rich too. Uh, I am. Funny. I'll say that right now. I'm rich. Wow. Oh, y'all rich? Y'all, everybody, I, I, everybody. I'm over 80. With, so that's wait, wait. Okay, so wait, wait. So, so compare again, TK, <laughs> if you compare yourself to when you were at Home Depot, would you say you were rich? Oh, yeah, for sure. Without a doubt. Okay. I'm on that nigga. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Home Depot, TK. I'm stunned on that nigga. What Home Depot, TK. Uh, Have you been back to that Home Depot since? Nah. Ah, uh, okay. Nah, I, I'm still cool with some people who work there and shit. You feel okay. me? And they talk to me and they be like, "Damn, TK." They be like, "Them, them earrings real?" Like, yeah. <laughs> Like, he be looking at yeah. doofy ass nigga. Hell yeah. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. I still fuck with them though, cause I, I respect them people, cause it taught me a lot, bro. I feel like I feel like there's a difference between people who got rich at a young age. And never worked a job versus somebody who worked the job and then got into this because you appreciate shit more. You feel me? You have more respect for like, and I'm not saying everybody young who started doing this shit is like that, but a lot of the people that you come across, like you feel me, that got money at a really young age and started doing this, don't really understand what it's like to be like getting a three hundred dollar paycheck a week. They saying you be slandering like the shit there. out of Bezos off of that. Three, three. My appreciation nah. is different because I come from the Philippines and. It's, yeah. it's not. I it's get not you. A, see, you feel me? Yeah, I uh, think the uh, internet misunderstands. It's hearts and rainbows yeah. over there, bro. Yeah. So. I'm from Trinidad and Tobago. You know what I mean? I get it. You know what I mean? Now, the $300, uh, and this is like as the $99 phone bill is due. Nah, that's not it. At mm-hmm. that, that one on Friday where you already cut in half and you got to figure out how to make. The 150 work for two weeks and you ain't bought no groceries. Your car don't got no gas. Listen, bro. I'm you telling you. An easy Mac diet. I knew, I knew I was really straight when I'd go to the gas station. My car would be at like three quarters and I'd just fill it up just to fill it up. Bro. Like, I just mm. don't have it. Like, your car, if your car never goes under half, 
You got it. it. You got it. You got it. You feel me? I remember Home Depot days. My car would be like a quarter tank, and I'd be sitting there like, can I make it to work? Yeah, quarter man. tank? Shit, nigga. My shit would be flirting with D. I'd be like, you... You yeah, shit saying you got 40 miles left. You sitting there like Damn. I ain't had a car that told me that. Nah, we, we good. We good. Now listen, oh. that, that 20, 2011 Nissan Altima carried me, bro. Yeah, man. Shout Still flirting online. Shout um B Souls, what was your moment that you that you realized you was like I was you was really up and it was stuck? Um I felt like at some point I just realized I can go to most restaurants and just get whatever the fuck I want. Like, whatever can I, I want, change man. my moment? Well, chat got a poll. How much do you make? Chat, I want to see some. Yeah, chat. Y'all go, y'all go vote on that. And don't lie. They don't see who voted for I what. I think I want to change yeah, my moment. Some, chat. Go ahead, go ahead. Chat, I think my moment when I knew I was rich, I had just got a haircut. I gave my barber $50. And I, I think I took money out to go put it in my savings account. And I seen a homeless nigga on the side. And I pulled over. And I was like, here go $200. Rich guy, bro. Rich and guy. I was like, you know, like, like, and it was crisp $100 bills straight out the bank. And I was like, I, I looked at him and I was like, you know what, bro? I was like, here you go. I sat down and talked to him for like five minutes and I got up and left. I think that was my moment. Yeah, rich bastard. $200. $200, $200 for a nigga that might have been on the perks. <laughs> hey, I ain't God, I'm, man. I'm if you want to go have fun, go ball. Go do your thing, man. Fair I ain't seen that. I don't know what happened to that nigga. Though. I don't drive past that road no more. I ain't seen him in a minute, but OP doing straight. So forty eight hundred to Jay Z. That's like two hundred for you. Do the math on the ratio. Okay. So that's how much he would do, plus like an extra hundred because that's a cousin. So more frozen. Nah. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn! Wait, I ain't gonna lie. This is a great screenshot, though. Look at his face. He's like, "Yeah, it's a thumbnail right there, bro." I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> oh yeah, get that, get that, Dre. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, Omar's not here. Let's talk about basketball real quick. TK, how you feel about your sons, man? Oh shit! <laughs> like love or hate the moves, man. Nurkic, I feel like Nurkic fits what we need better. Yeah, you know I mean, Aiden didn't want to be there, so I'm happy he's where he wants to. But also, we got a good return for it, bro. Um, we got Nurkic, we got uh, what's his name? What's his name? Um, Nazir Little, and then we got one more. We got Grayson Allen. I Grayson feel like those Allen. are those those are good bench pieces. You feel me? Grayson Allen's a good defender, on ball defender, and a good three point shooter. He's also one of them dogs that every team need. You know, the nigga that's gonna punch a nigga in the balls when he go up for a dunk and just take that tech. You right. feel me? Like we, we, every team need one of those. If you really think about it, the every championship team has one of those. The Warriors had fucking um Draymond Green. He took it so far he punched his own partner. Um, the the Bucks had Bobby Portis. The mm-hmm. the Suns, I feel like when they made a championship run, they didn't have no dogs on their team. They had Jay Crowder, but he wasn't really a dog. I feel like Grayson Allen is a dog. Like Grayson Allen really step on a nigga ankle. I'm not right, wishing injury right, right. on nobody, but you know, every team need that one person that strike a little fear in the other team heart. Like, hey, if I go for this layup on, then they gonna choke them. Let me ask, let me ask uh, you two questions. Yeah. Y'all, y'all face the Lakers tomorrow. Uh oh. We play tomorrow? No, no, no. Just hypothetically, uh-uh. seven game series. Oh, okay. Like, you got winning. Suns or Lakers? Realistically, both teams play. fully healthy. Fully healthy. Suns and six. Okay. What Suns about the Nuggets? Six. What about the Nuggets? Incorrect. Suns in six. Incorrect. In both series. God damn. In both series. Wait, you said against Denver? Yeah. And LA. And LA. Clippers? I don't know why you're making this face like y'all took a game off Denver. Denver? Y- y'all not. Y- l- 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 you think did you, you take, did the Lakers take a game off Denver? Oh, shit. 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 Did you play that Denver team that we played? Them niggas, yes, smacking them motherfuckers in yes. their hands. Yo, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, wait, wait. We played the exact one? same team. Without Chris Paul and without Aiden. Oh, my. I'm like, not going to lie. Hurt. One of those games, what? Jokic literally could not miss against y'all, bro. Bruh. Against the Suns. That was crazy. I'm telling you, bro. And listen, <laughs> it, it, took, it took KD and Book scoring 80 points combined to beat them niggas. Now Man, we got on, Bradley bro. Beal. That nigga Michael Porter Jr. was ass the whole offs except against us. The niggas, nigga, Mike Malone got some hate boner for us or some shit. Don't make me pull up the numbers. I, you know who I really want to see in the playoffs? I need that niggas, again. Niggas bro. is so I lame. Need it. I need that again for the uh, 
They Not get the same up, reason. <laughs> they get up a little bit with some free agent signings and some dick suck, and then all of a sudden they want to spin the block on the little guy. Come on, bro. That's crazy, oh. bro. That's crazy, <laughs> bro. Niggas what if play Luka just dogs y'all again, though? That'd be kind of crazy, right? If Luca does what he did that one time and boots us in the same fashion. Again? Yeah, might still be the best player. I will, might, might he probably still the best player on the court. So that'd be funny as fuck. Bro. <laughs> oh, slow down, nigga. Good luck. Good luck. Not, what you think? Booker's better than him. KD not better than Luca. No. No. That is correct. <laughs> He's not. So hey, so. Yeah, who has a better team? Mavs or the or the, or the Suns? Oh, y'all got a better team. The Suns. Oh my god. Y'all got the way better oh, team. Oh my god. god. When 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 Beal is out there averaging twenty three. Book is averaging 30 and Katie's averaging 30. And you, you oh, how many points are giving up? Uh, oh, don't do that. I think we're a good defensive team. I think niggas, Whoa. I think niggas is tripping. I think y'all going to be surprised how good, good we are or better team. than we expect. Yeah. Good. All right, watch, bro. I'm willing that. to listen. Be souls. We'll come back to this. By the by postseason, we're a top 10 defense. Ten. Oh, how, much ten defense. Ten. how much you want to put on that? How much you want to put on it? How much you want to put on it? Shit, what, what's your price? What's your price? Because I, I, I'm usually... I'll put, a, I'll put a light, honey. Actually, no, no, no. I'm not betting. Anytime I bet on my team, shit don't work out. No, I don't gamble on my team. <laughs> I was going to think about it. I think anytime, anytime, hey, anytime I put money like on my not team, I curse bro. I don't know. No, it's a curse, bro. I don't sports bet on I, my own I, team. I, 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 I'd, I'd even go up if you wanted to go up. I'd take a bet on that. No, I'd take a bet on that. I was going to put 20 man, gifted on the line, but... How much is 20 gifted? That's five. Oh, that's That's like 100, basically. Yeah, I'll do 20 gifted. I'll do 20 gifted for it. I'm waiting until yeah. September to pay you. But. Ten is ten is fucking. <laughs> I think we're top ten, bro. Fuck ass, no, you ain't no top ten, bro. Okay. I do think y'all, y'all, y'all a good team, though. I think niggas hating on y'all team, but shit, defense. I don't see. You not worried about the depth? Book and you don't think we have depth now? It's it's on some like y'all have depth that's good for like the cap space that y'all got, but in a vacuum. Like Boston got Okay, so depth. okay, so 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 explain Boston's depth to me. Tell me. Oh shit. Who, who they worst best player? Peyton? Pritchard? Uh right now it's Sam Hauser, but we got a six man rotation hey, of uh Drew Holiday, Derek White, Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum, Porzingis, and then in that case Al Horford would be coming off the bench. And then Sam Hauser, Peyton Pritchard, Jordan Walsh. Man, all the sons are gonna all the sons gonna do is just yep. stagger their team like legitimately. Bradley Bill might play like the first couple minutes of the first and get on the bench, and then when Devin Booker and KD are on the bench, Bradley Bill will go back in, cook it up a little bit. It's it's fine. Now trade, again, that. it's gonna be a race to one fifty. <laughs> right? You know what's crazy? I'm gonna love by posting and time when we at teams playing against us average a sub one ten. That's gonna be my problem though, cause you saying Denver. And your, if there's if there's one nigga in the league who a guaranteed points, not bucket, cause we know how hoop, hoop talk be. But in terms of points, nigga, Jokic is guaranteed, and y'all ain't got nobody for that, nigga. Sub one ten, somewhat sub one ten, sub one ten. Oh, so wait, he said sub one ten, sub one ten. Oh, you're yeah. just yeah, you're, you're showing you. You got real and D book on the perimeter with Wayne as the. Why are we pretending D book's not a decent defender? I hate when niggas push that narrative, bro. He's decent. What's Bill? (laughs) He can't be worse than Chris Paul as a defender. Hey, maybe. Look at what we doing now. (laughs) Let's be real, bro. He can't be worse than Chris Paul. Chris Paul okay. getting bullied. I'll, I'll even go as far as this for any chatter that's going to disagree. You activate a trap card. So you got two decents on the perimeter. What's KD? KD's not a good defender? Why? What are we doing here? No. All right. So you got no. two decents, one you good. You say Golden State anymore, bro. He got like two Achilles injuries. All right. What's then? Nurk going defense? Oh, God. Nothing. No. All right, so you got I'm a I'm a high ball of the defense decent chat. So you got three decent de- defenders and one good. Who's the other nigga? That's Let me see my roster really quick. Fuck ass, no. <laughs> hey, bro, no, whoever, no, 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 Grayson whoever, Allen. Whoever the fourth is, he gonna be a great defender because his black ass. That's all he need to do. That's all he need to do. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. They gonna need a Nick's Cla- Nick Claxton fine, bro. They gonna need a, a Alex Caruso. Isaiah Little's not a good defender. Um, yeah. listen, 
Did y'all talk about Drew Holiday get? Nah, we talked about Phoenix first. Yeah, we, yeah, we. Talked okay, about yeah, him. please stop talking about Phoenix. Yeah, Drew Holiday goes to His Suns ring is gonna hit so immaculate. Oh, oh God! God. Oh, sure. yeah, right. Now you crazy. Nothing for a nigga that's going down the paint like Giannis. Drew Holiday goes over to the um, to the Celtics from Portland. Portland cleaned house. They weren't answering any other calls. They just dick suck Boston again. Um. <laughs> But now, Boston has, uh, from in my opinion, just ended up in the same spot as they were a couple years ago. They got rid of Rob Will. They got rid of Malcolm Brogdon in this trade. Um, but get your little quick reactions off, because I don't, I don't believe guys. I dick sucked them because I honestly one forgot that they lost both. But um, regardless, it's different. I actually like it. Because it's not Boston doing the same shit they've been doing for years, man. They taking a risk. And I fuck with it. Now, do I think Drew's that good? I'm going to be honest. No. But it's different. It could work if Drew gets his shit together. Uh, I do also think people forget that this is real life. Personal things matter. Drew is going to try his absolute hardest to guard that nigga Dame. Now, Dame is Dame, but he's going to try. So I do think they they put themselves in a situation where it's a two-man East, unless somebody sell. And um, I, I, I'm actually proud of Boston for the moves because Robert Williams, I know he's a good talent, but he's never there. Y'all talk about health all the time. And then y'all go on me for AD, but y'all about to talk about Robert Williams. He's never there. And when he is there, his knee hurts every time. So, no, nah, yeah. I, I actually I actually like what Boston's doing. I don't love it because I don't believe in Drew Holiday enough. If I, I'd love it if I thought Drew Holiday was actually going to be on time. And, and if he proved me wrong, there you go. I love the trade, bro. I ain't going to lie. I, I said it uh, yesterday, bro. Like, for once, we just stopped being pussy. Like, there's been so many stars where we were just pussy, like, trying to get at, like, at four once we actually pulled the trigger. And we did it twice this, this offseason with, with Porzingis yep. and Drew. So, there's that. And then when you look at the holes that the Celtics had this past offseason, like, our weaknesses, Drew Holiday and Chris Stops like, address a lot of that. I understand there's cons with the team now with the, with depth and that uh, front court defense. But, I don't know. I, I, I like the deal, bro. High risk, high reward. Let's gun for it. Fuck it. Them boys still not getting a ring. But I'm going to be It's going to be it's going to be beautiful when the heat bounce y'all out again. Um what? What? Uh, Jimmy, I don't know why Jimmy Butler just has certain niggas numbers and he just really own oh, motherfucker. He do not like Ooh, Drew. Yeah. He got Drew number. Got Drew number he for real. Drew number. <laughs> Oh yeah, you <laughs> <laughs> <Right, it's like, laughs> got Drew number and uh, Jimmy is not scared of nobody in that in that fucking locker room. I give you that. Yeah, um, I go. So they make the playoffs first. Either yeah, y'all, either we'll y'all lose that. to. Oh, make the playoffs first. Either y'all lose to them or y'all just lose to the Bucks because Al Horford. I, I, I'm I'm being serious. Yeah, when Al Horford's role got more important. When Sorry. me and TK was in kindergarten, Al Horford was still he started playing basketball. So I don't know. That's the only thing I don't like. I will actually agree with Omar. People don't. People are underestimating that Al Horford's role only got more significant because of this trade. Because now you're asking Kristaps Porzingis to hypothetically swing with Bam on pick and rolls or or contain Giannis on a drive, and neither of them shits is happening. And usually they just put uh, Robert Williams to get the weak side block. Now you're asking Al Horford to do that, so KP can get the block. That shit. He was in the Kobe. Al Horford was in the Kobe draft class. God, that nigga's, uh, that nigga's a 96 for real. <laughs> yeah. He's lying. 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 10 o'clock is my time. It was fun talking to y'all boys. Last words before I get out. The Suns going to win a ring. Chicago Bears are going to change the narrative. Going to win the next six games. Six games? You see that jersey back there. You know who it is. I like Justin you, Fields, the GOAT. You feel me? Um, Let's get it, man. I appreciate y'all inviting me on the pod. I had a wonderful time. 150000 is not rich. Um... What else? What? Oh my god! Um, Rich motherfucker. Ruby Rose is a generational talent. Lotto Thank is you. generational talent. One to two. And mm-hmm. thirty-five bodies for a woman is just insane. 
but to each day on. Yeah, one and a half. You love Rose. I'm gonna well, be back again. Well, 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 go last question, last question. If Ruby Rose had 35, would you be 36? 36, 37, 38. 38, 39. Ruby got a 50 piece. I'm 50 piece. PK, ladies and gentlemen. Ruby Rose could be touching a hundred triple digits numbers. I'm still doing it. Okay, okay, okay. I would be saying, what? Okay. Yeah, no, I ain't gonna lie. What? Man, I'm fucking Ruby Rose. You're bugging. With a hundred, I don't know. He might have dragged it, but I'm I'm, I'm just seeing her. I've just seen her. I don't know. I just I don't know, man. Right. Niggas I think like gold diggers enough for me. How about that? <laughs> Niggas like gold diggers enough for that. She look the same my body twenty. Hundred. Worst case, Ruby's rich, but she look like that. What's she gonna do? What's she gonna do for you? Shit. Hey Ruby, can I get like a good sandwich? <laughs> <laughs> like this is a, like Chick Fil A. Like I get extra Chick Fil A sauce. She can't cook though. I seen that cooking video. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I think I think it's one of those situations where, just like, you know, for a lot of people at DreamCon or whatever. Oh, okay, I saw you. You know, in real life. Okay, the Lord's it's down. It's gone. You're not hitting the same. I Wait, feel Omar, so what's you, what's the minimum for you for uh, being rich? I don't think you answered the question. Oh yeah, you never answered. Um, six. I think it. I think it is. Uh, six is six is probably my number. Six is probably my number. Only only because why it's not before six is because I have a little bit higher of a horizon now. That I will say, like if we're talking in the grand scheme of things, yeah, eighty thousand for a lot of people. Is definitely rich because that would be double the average income for like Americans. I think Americans is at like forty thousand right now. Right. So double the average income for an American. That's like yeah, that would be rich. But for me specifically, it would probably be in that. Really, I, for me specifically, it would be that one fifty. I ain't gonna lie, but I understand one a hundred. You're rich if you if you if you make a hundred k. For actually, for both of y'all, if you when you do, because Bezos makes two hundred thousand. But Chill. rich ass. At, if you make a hundred k, how many other people in your family can you say make a hundred k? Not a lot. I, Confidently, I think... like you know for sure. Oh, oh yeah, maybe two. Yeah, I don't know anyone. Maybe two. You say confidently. I'm assuming a couple other people would know for a fact. Maybe two. Not confidently. My family is not, and that, that that's the only thing with the internet. I, I again, I will die saying I'm not a hood nigga chat, but I'm not from this well privileged gated. Nope, Four. It's, it's not my background. No, no, no. Four, Four is crazy. <laughs> nah, yeah, okay. it's, it's it's too. Now I'll say this: I'm blessed to be very close with those two people, but um, no. Nah. I'm gonna say zero. I ain't gonna lie. You would say zero. Yeah. Overwhelming. The, the, I'll, say, I'll even say this: outside of those two people, um, the overwhelming majority is without a doubt not even only zero, but they're probably the least wealthy in my family. But I love them beyond most. So, like them well, niggas, my... I'd I'd get them the five bands damn near right now. Like fuck it. It's well, like... most of my family's from the Philippines, so they're being rich. If you make fifty k a year, you're living a hundred k a year here lifestyle type shit. So it's kind of different. But if I would, honestly, I, one. I think I, I think my answer would be one. If I include, yeah, one, one. To be honest with you, I'm, just gonna I'm not lying. I and think we, it know, might we know the one. <laughs> yeah, oh, we know the one. Right? Yeah, we know, we know the one. So I can't. Yeah, I don't think. Um, yeah, let, let me amend mine to maybe two. I know one. Maybe. I would say at one point in time it was two, but uh, it's no, definitely it's, still one. It's definitely one. I ain't even gonna lie to you. Um, would y'all have anything to talk about before we get up out of here? What was y'all's uh, topic of the week? I didn't know. Well, um, mine was supposed to be the eight and shit, so that's kind of chop. Uh, let me see. I'll go. Chop. I'll go to the chat real quick. I mean, I ain't gonna press it if niggas is done because no, I, mean, I could chill too. Oh, oh, I did have a topic. I did have a topic. Um, I'll be brief with it though. Uh, so basically, you seen this clip. Service over the shit. Y'all know me. Nerd of the pod. Gotta have one push your glasses up topic, but this one ain't that bad for real, y'all. I found some for the cool kids, man. 
So my man agent, oh, Kirk, that's good. my that's man good agent Kirk on his chat because niggas nowadays swear you have to be good at every game. We're gonna play the clip and then I'll I'll uh, provide my personal opinion and of course then my co-host. We have to talk about this. Bro, do you know that like in good games you could be bad and still have fun? Bro, why do why do you feel like you have to be great at a game to have fun? Bro, I fucking suck at Rainbow Six, but I have a marvelous time when I play it. You feel me? Like, why are you acting like you gotta be a professional, semi-pro, automatic, like aim bot ass nigga to have fun in a video game? It's impossible, bro. Some of you niggas is like deranged, bro. If you're not like competing in the pro league, like you're not having fun. Bro, that's not me, bro. That's your ass. Yeah. Well, well let me be- let me say before before you go, this was based off of a comment um, that said he was ass at the game. Like, I think somebody commented like in the chat or whatever said, you're ass at the game. And then that's when he went off on him. Mm-hmm. Yep. I want to say this for starters. Shout out to Jaw T in chat because these he brought up my first point and I was going to say this point and then let y'all cook. I don't understand any person that actually would somewhat disagree with him. I think most people agree with him for proper reasons, but I'll even go as far as say this. Being comp ain't even like the best way to blow up, and it damn well isn't the best way to enjoy or entertain. I would I would genuinely argue the best games, the best gamers to watch and the best games to play are easily games that niggas are bad at or niggas are afraid to play. So like me doing a scary game stream, like I'm pussy as shit on scary game. I, I can't do it. I don't like mm-hmm. jumping at me. That's probably going to be peak content if I ever fucking man up and do it. On mm-hmm. top of that, if if I was some trash at Madden, I think the peak watching experience is, oh my God, Sage finally won a game of Madden. I think that'd be fucking peak seeing me rage and shit, man. Y'all, man, that shit is whack. I'm going to let niggas go, but I already knew how the 2K community got down prior to release that, bro, everybody got to be comp or you can't speak on the game. And that's the shit I was talking about earlier, not to bring up even the Chris move debate I had with Damo, but that's that the reason, because it's not that relevant, but that's the reason why I was on the side that I was on, because that's just the first domino to ultimately, bro, if you're not good, don't have an opinion on the game. It's like, all right, bro. Not everybody's trying to be in the 2K League, bro. The most annoying shit in my fucking friend group is when niggas try to join the 2K League. I don't even have time for the 2K League. What the, what the fuck? Get the fuck out of here. But go ahead, y'all. I, I actually, I agree with the tweet about content creation, but I disagree with his comment about games. I personally feel like the make or break it factor for a lot of games is if, if you can have fun by yourself. And I think for 2K, that actually, uh, uh, specifically, because we're talking about people who play Park a lot, right? Specifically mm. in my career. So these are people that don't play Play Now. These are people that don't don't play my team. They don't play, they, they don't play my league. They just go straight to my career and that's it. I feel like at this point, unless you're playing with friends, I feel like you can't even have fun like playing my career with the given context that like a lot of these people that we're talking about also don't play my career games offline. So are you going to have an enjoyable park experience or a rec experience just playing by yourself? I would tend to, I feel like a lot of chat would agree. No, you're not going to have fun just playing by yourself. But even if you look at other games like Call of Duty, like you know, like Assassin's Creed, a Fortnite, a Valorant. Like Valorant, I've been playing Valorant a lot lately, and it's a very team-based game. But for somehow, some way, they figured out a way so that I can still play it solo by myself, and I don't have to play like with friends to enjoy it. You know what I'm saying? But when you play with friends, it's such a fun experience because that just elevates the experience. Right. With 2K, you can't say the same shit, bro. It's like I don't want to like I want to play a my career type game because that's my game mode of choice. But if I don't have friends, like yo, what the now I'm just forced to play offline. So I feel like that's a, that's the a cycle I'm personally in. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I want to play my career. But, like, sometimes I just want to play by myself. But I also don't want to play offline, if that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. To, for, to help you avoid comments, there's even a game mode where you can do that and be online and go against somebody else. It's a 1v1 thing. It's called Starting 5. Which I heard is crazy fun, by the way. It's crazy fun, but no, it doesn't, doesn't work. work. It doesn't work. No, no, no. People know about it. It doesn't work. Wait, explain it quick. You can do what? So you get, you never remember when niggas was talking about doing online my career? You yeah. could have like you, Trey Young, and all the motherfuckers go against a, a dude whose my career is on the Lakers. You could dead ass do that. The thing is, 
The problem with it is people are quitting at the last second and it quite literally makes everything useless. Mm-hmm. Like it's yeah. just a toxic thing because the community is fucking toxic, bro. It, 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 it literally nullifies everything. You don't get no progress. You don't keep no stats, nothing. So it's like you wasted your time. Uh, I want to say this too before I fucking forget and then I'm going to let Omar speak, bro. And this is directly with 2K2, but it speaks for every game in general. This it's just the most abundant in 2K. This idea that everybody's smart is ridiculous. I've never heard the word IQ mentioned so much or the letters IQ be put together so much than talking about virtual basketball. I swear <laughs> to God, I've taken IQ test for trolls offline for tests in real life. I've taken um, quiz, SATs, motherfucking sweat bullets on, on motherfucking sweat bullets and then logged in the quiz like because I couldn't fucking pass test. I've done several uh, tests of education a day of my, all the fucking time throughout my uh, college career. I'm sorry, my words are fucked up. I need to take another test. But ideally, bro, and ultimately, I've never heard the words IQ mentioned so much in the 2K community, bro. It's just, just so fucking annoying, bro. And it's, it is sad it took a nigga like Agent who used to be heavily in the 2K community to come out and be like, bro, why does everybody got to be calm, bro? And, and, and I think that I think that that's what makes it like the most uh, ironic or funny or whatever the fuck it is. Because here's Agent, arguably one of the most notable faces in a game in which he had to be at least some level of like competitive to see success in. And you have him like shitting on people saying like, yo, being compy isn't fun. Like being the most competitive isn't fun. I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. Like thinking back on it, now that I have a PlayStation and now that I've been playing for the past couple of weeks or whatever, it's really been a month since I had a PlayStation. Uh, really a month to this day, I think. Um, I can say I have pinpointed what got me out of video games. Yep. And, and it is because at the time that I got out, my friends started either playing something different or they started taking it too seriously. And I was just totally turned off. And that's when the, the skyrocket of people wanting to take video games. games seriously. Yeah. Yeah. The, the multiplayer games, as we know it, the content creation surrounding it, we know it. That's when that shit took off. And at that point, I was t- like, I'm totally turned off of video games. And so I think the reason why I'm having fun now, because I can legitimately say like, I'm having fun playing video games is because I'm doing it with the community that we've curated. And I'm doing it with people who honestly don't care if I'm shitty. Me, Damo yep. and TBM played, uh, I, I made him my player the other night and we played like a couple of games trying to get my brown shirt a W. Yeah. Like my, my, my 60 overall brown shirt of w and we had little side bets okay if, you, if your brown shirt can get three rebounds you know we'll, we'll do this or whatever but it was just it was fun like they didn't care about their win loss nobody cares about their kd whatever the fuck it is just nobody cares about that shit and so for agents to say that i mean i wholeheartedly agree that's why i had to almost ratio buddy for my tweet <laughs> but no yeah I, I wholeheartedly agree and and to be honest with you I'm going to bust a lot of y'all's bubbles. Nobody cares that you're good at the video game. That's like, real. Yeah. When, when I do my play now online and y'all come up off the mic and, you bitch ass nigga, you suck, you suck. I promise you. I I swear to you, it does not make sense because you share your PlayStation with your little brother. You know, you're at your mom's house. And, you know, I don't even want to, I don't even want to, dis- I don't even want to diss those dudes. It just, it really just does not matter. It yeah. I, I matter. talk shit. Y'all know I talk shit. But it's like I'm doing it in fun, bro. I'm not. If Omar were to, if we were to play that same team up game, and Omar were to miss a clutch shot, would I be mad? Yeah, but I'm not gonna be like Omar, you fucking whole ass nigga, or whatever the fuck. I might even have that bit. Don't let me. I ain't take that back. But then the next day, the, the problem with you niggas, the next day you wake up, you're still on the shot. Then the next game, you're still on the shot. Like, oh, right. Plus, bro. plus, I know you. I, I know you. And it would be different, especially with streaming and you saying that, okay, that's fine. Right. And then, too, I don't think, I, I, I told niggas on a timeline, trash talk and hoe-ass nigga, bitch-ass, that's not the same thing. Those are not the same things. Those are legitimately not the same. I liked it when we played Team Up and nobody called anybody out of their names. Yep. Nobody got out of pocket for real, but it was still toxic enough where it was like, okay, this is fun. This person just bad at the game or something like that. I, I, that shit is corny, bro. Yeah. Omar, do you, th- you think you would have fun? Because you're saying right now you're having fun playing 2K. Do you think you would have fun if you didn't have those friends to play with? And my career is the only. Game I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Play? I wouldn't have 2K. 
I would I let me tell you something right now because remember my my legitimate four games Battlefield, mm-hmm. Gotham Knights, Battlefront Two, and Jedi Survivor, and I probably wouldn't even have two, maybe one of these shooting games. I got two Star Wars games because I fucking love Star Wars, but I would just have like Spider Man or something like that. I would be offline playing. Well, let me say mm-hmm. this, and honestly, if I if two K wasn't gonna be fun or whatever the case, I couldn't play with the community. I probably wouldn't. Even, I just wouldn't even bought a PS Five. I really would have just let it rock. But the idea that like I'm with people who are like ah you know I'll I'll play games with you and it'll just be on some yeah. chill shit or whatever. But that, like, that's what I'm saying. I think with friends and w- when you're playing games with friends, you can make a lot of games fun that really aren't. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like, even gang real, like, Beast has games. notoriety. Hell, the, this nigga plays Gang Beast. Like like what the fuck? Gang Beast yeah. is a trash game until you in the right lobby with your boys and at that point that's your game so i'm not even gonna go there and there's a ways for even a game like 2k to be fun by yourself but the fact that a game like 2k to souls credit gets gets literal notoriety for niggas checking your win loss and not even playing gets um notoriety for hey fuck all these offline game modes like we do not care we only care about this specific game mode in the micro section of said specific game mode. It's it's just ah, and I will say if you're now an niggas offline is head though, on the game too. Oh, my bad, my bad. No, nah, you good. Go I was ahead. about to say if you're an offline head though, two K is fun as fuck. Like if you're like, mm-hmm. a my league dude and that's your go to game mode, it's still fun is as great. fuck. Errors yeah. is great. Oh, but again, I- if you're if you're an online dude. My team might still hit better than Park, but specifically for the yeah, Park dudes, because I feel like a majority of 2K players do play Park. Yeah, that shit is just not fun because of the fact that, for a majority of people, like, yo, I can't play this shit by myself, bro. Like, I, I literally need to, need to schedule out time with my friends for us to all play together to just have fun. Like, I don't want to do that, bro. And I that, that's, what, that's what even had me, because even when I got 2K or whatever, that's what got me away from, like, making a my player for so long. It's just a threat. And it sounds crazy to say, but the legitimate threat of like, yeah, if you're not good, niggas is not gonna play with you. Like mm-hmm. if you're not this, that, and the third, like, come on, bro. That 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 shit is so nutty. And the and last thing I was, I remember one time, this is in real life. I was beating somebody, like we were beating people in basketball pretty bad. Like mm-hmm. team just running the court. Somebody had the nerve to say, but y'all won't put it on 2K though. <laughs> <laughs> The inverse is crazy. I thought to myself, yo, we are IRL. What are you doing, dude? Fuck yeah, you. It's, yeah, it's usually we're the only in a video game, <laughs> but you won't beat me in real life. And that and both situations are corny, but one side definitely has a stronger argument. And I say that as the nigga that's good at 2K and shit in real life. It's, it's crazy. Um, super, super, super last thing, because we did not talk about this, but I thought this was crazy. Um, did y'all see Buddy that shot the pranker? Oh yeah. I think we yeah, seen that. So, I got an easy one hit a quick to take on that too, so this is gonna be quick. YouTube prankster shoot get get shot. I do want to warn you that viewers might find this video disturbing. Don't huh? yeah, be careful. What? What's that? I don't don't play don't play don't play. Yeah, no, I'm, not, I'm, not gonna, I'm not. I'm not gonna play. I'm not. Gonna, I wasn't gonna play when he got shot. I'm not. I'm not gonna play the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. But so essentially, what happened? Damn, and this the news show. The whole shit. I ain't gonna yeah. lie. I'm yeah, that's what I'm saying. Be careful, because yeah, technically no, 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 you don't see it, but still. Which oh, is crazy though, because you think they'd have like harsher TOS on the airways, but no, nah, because you don't, because you don't see it, see it. So really right. no, nah, I wasn't gonna play the whole thing. But so essentially, he gets accosted like that. They walk a couple of steps, and then Buddy pulls out Boom. the gun yeah. and shoots him. I had a different opinion before I fully saw the whole video because I was like, I don't want to see nobody get shot. I don't want to watch the whole video. Mm-hmm. What's y'all's opinion? Because I think I'm gonna be the only one that has this opinion. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. Again, I've only seen that clip. But this just reinforces my opinion that real pranks, prank content, <laughs> I'd rather see fake scripted content succeed on social media than real pranks that actually end up hurting both the content creator in some cases and the people they're fucking with who are just most of the time just minding their own fucking business and or doing their job just a regular nine to five. And now you, you're going into their place of work trying to fuck with them. So. Now yeah. be be clear, be clear. Dude got shot. Dude survived. Mm-hmm. They went to trial, and the guy that sh- that that pulled the trigger, he was found 
not guilty of any charges. Okay. So I just I just want to make that clear for somebody who might have never seen that before or whatever. Um, yeah. Take- I'm not going to lie. Me and o- uh, the way Omar was talk- talking in the first half, we are at the exact same point or he about to make a left when I make a right. I, at first, didn't want to see it. I'm not one of these people as I've seen enough violence in terms of Twitter, let alone per IRL, but especially Twitter. Y'all, I'm not I'm not I'm not going to make myself normal seeing niggas die. But once I heard that yo, you don't see them, you don't see them get shot. I was like, all right, bet. Watched it. And I'll be honest. Y'all, some people didn't pick up on it, and I don't like that people didn't pick up on it. Is he annoying? Yes. Is it a YouTube prank? Hey, bro, leave these motherfuckers alone moment? Yeah, sure. Bro, I didn't even give a warning, bro. That nigga weird. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, you, okay. Fuck that. You gotta, you gotta tell somebody, like, I don't know how the fuck you weren't guilty. I'm even go there. You gotta, you gotta, like, if you carry one of the, like, one of the main things about niggas who carry, especially legally, is that it's like, yo... You that's like a last resort. You're in danger, shit. And if you are going to use it to get the get away from me, shit. Hey, bro, I'm about to shoot you. He was guilty, bet. And the, the, he did warn him. I ain't seen the video. I'll watch it again. But um, nah, I don't. I don't like. I don't like y- y'all saying a warning and stop messing with him or what? Like, I, or stop messing with me, bow, nigga. That is not a nah y'all are weak for that but y'all yeah again it's because it's a nigga that's a youtuber and it's fucking annoying but that's weak bro that's weak as fuck and i i'll i'll go with that alone bro yeah I, um, that's weak as fuck we're we're, we're on the same page we are 100 percent on the same page fuck. so he was charged with aggravated malicious wounding um yeah I, I think it was i think it was overboard i thought it was more to it because at first i had saw the two dudes and then the camera dude so I thought at one point he kind of pulls it out and they kind of, you know, when they do the surrounding, it's a prank, it's a prank, it's a prank. And then in like a, you know, oh, it's heightened anticipation. Three dudes are kind of yeah. charging at me. I pulled the trigger type situation. That's fine. But I think um, simple showing of the gun. If you really, if you really, Thank really, you. really, that, really, that's really, my really chat from me. I'm like, bro, I'm, yeah. I'm so sorry to cut you off, dog. No, no, no. And, ahead, I, and I got to stop doing that. So I bottom of my heart, I'm sorry. But like, dog. Chat, this is why y'all pissing me off right now. Nigga, you got the jump on you? Just pull it out. Hey, stop fucking messing with me. That's all. That's it. This nigga, bow. No, bro. Y'all niggas, and I know, no offense to y'all. I know some of you ain't living like that. Because that's weak, chat. That's weak as fuck, bro. But go ahead. I, I think I think part of it is that people are um, scared or, you know, just, just made to fear so much america has just traumatized people so much that they think that these situations escalate and all this stuff like that but i get it it's annoying i i truly get it Mm -hmm. um but for him to just pull out like that it honestly honestly it makes me think of his intentions with a gun the nigga look like he was finna go to the movies i ain't gonna (laughs) i i know that sounds crazy but if you're and, and that's the stuff that we talk about like, you know, however you land on the gun laws argument is how you land. Mm-hmm. But people like him are the reasons why gun laws should be more, you know, looked at expansive or whatever. Not because for your safety or whatever the case may be, he is way too trigger happy. He is yeah. way too, he, he way didn't even try. If he, if he went to a, a gun self-defense class or whatever, they would have talked about diffusing a situation. All these classes talk about diffusing situation. There was not even an attempt to diffuse a situation. But he Stop literally it. leave me alone, leave me alone, boom. That's it not the fusion. It wasn't even fully out of his jacket. The nigga just Yeah. I, you probably I got like a there's... hole in the jump. Real shit. You probably got a <laughs> hole in the jump. Like dog. I just feel like there's certain issues where like a majority of people, it's OD to to do this certain thing. But when it comes to like internet moderation and gun laws, it's not for the majority of people. It's to prevent those edge cases. Of like, okay, maybe this is a minority of people being affected by it, but this minority is still too big. Like, this shouldn't be happening. You know what I'm saying? Because when we're talking about um, Andrew Tate's influence on incels and like incel Reddit, yes, a majority of his fans aren't gonna be incels. I think a lot of us consume when we do consume his content, we can just filter through the bullshit. But that one percent is still too much. You know what I'm saying? So when it comes to this situation, while yes, a lot of people are not gonna react the way that bro did. He's he's part of that one percent that 
wrongfully reacted the way that he did, that shouldn't, you know, that that like these laws should be helping to stop. So I'm gonna I'm say not this. Niggas not staying in the same tune if that nigga died, bro. That, you know, so say. Boy, Man, that, that's what that's what's around. frying the fuck out of me right now, bro. I'm reading these niggas talking about, oh, but you can't just flash it. Like, Man, all right, if that nigga had died, die, bro, y'all niggas, man, y'all blow the shit. Because 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 I cool. I hear it's I cool. hear that whole sentiment. I really don't, but I hear that whole sentiment about, well, you just can't show your gun. You you can't show your gun in a heightened situation where both parties are, you know, antagonizing each other and it's escalating to a fight. At that point, if you do you pull, show it, you better pull it at and, that point. And, and really, yeah, you can show. But if you pull at that point, you do pull and you do shoot because you at that assumption is like, OK, both of us have a gun. You know, me living in the state of Georgia, if I do get to that situation where everything is heightened and I pull my gun, I'm probably going to shoot it because I'm assuming they have a gun. But in this situation right here. Again, if he does this quick pull pow, but he dies is a whole different set of consequences there's a whole different conversation surrounding this as opposed to hey let me just pull or even like show let them know hey you got a backup or whatever there's been plenty of pranks where where dude is like somebody's show whoa, 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 whatever. Whoa, whoa, whoa. it's a prank it's yeah, a prank it's a prank, prank. there's yeah. been millions yeah. of those bro millions on top of that it's even worse about this prank it's usually the prank is like a nigga doing some fucked up shit right this nigga has one of his hands already occupied. You know the nigga not a threat. The nigga is playing the video. I think it, I want to go back to it because I, I don't know if he's pointing at it or not. But you see both the nigga's hands at one point in the video. So you know that if you if you were to draw, you're drawing first. So I don't get no idea that this nigga couldn't have implied and or straight up flash. Hey, bro, leave me the fuck alone. And it could have been the escalator, man. Y'all niggas weak as fuck. But, but it's the internet. Niggas is numb to death. Niggas it don't respect content creation. It's not even just a cape for this, but I just know for a fact if this was like a, a ABC reporter or some shit, he'd be fucking mourned. It, it's man, this is so this is brain numbing. Niggas is scared. Niggas is really like that's really crazy. Living, and living pussy. And let's really talk about it. Niggas just pussy with a gun, bro. That's that's this that gunplay shit that get niggas packed up. But y'all y'all yeah. tough with it. So See, go but, ahead. And, and we've had those conversations. The last name we've had those conversations where like um somebody's like oh. What happens if dude breaks into your house, the alarm goes off, and he's running away and you catch him? I've seen those conversations on Twitter. So somebody breaks into your house, the alarm goes off, but you run to the door and you can visibly see them running away. What you going to do? I've been seeing all the comments that are like, oh, psh, I'm putting 10 in his back. Ten rounds in him. I'm doing them like Ricky off of, you know what I'm saying? I'm doing them crazy. And I'm like, man, what is going on in your life that you actively want opportunities to take somebody's life yeah wait they took shit in the i don't even think you'd win that case at that point if his back is turned you run whether whether they whether they took something or not but the scenario that was posed was they don't take anything so they get to your door they're they're fiddling with your door or whatever and it unlocks and you can hear it so you're kind of right at the door it unlocks Mm -hmm. the alarm goes off they're running away and then you know the door is open and you can see them running away you got your gun in your hand what do you do and the, the oh, people, the people in the, but people are, oh, psh, I'm putting them down. Oh, yellow, you know, deer running away. I'm, I'm, I'm taking them, I'm taking them out. Come on, bro. If they I'm stole not something, lie. it might be a different story. But if uh, they didn't uh, steal why? anything, why, why, why be so? Why? So, so, so I'm, I'm gonna say this. I'm, well, actually, so let's go first. I'll say this. Well, I was about to say if they stole something from me, I mean, I'm gonna at least attempt to stop them before the cops come because the cops might not be there to get them. Hey. All I'm going to say, Souls, uh, Souls but doesn't do this. Souls I, I, doesn't I, I, do this. No, but what I'm saying is in that scenario, I just feel like there's a more justified reason as opposed to literally nothing happened. You and your family are safe. They did not get in. So not, they're just running away, and now you're shooting them just to kill them at that point. Hey, I'm going to just say these, man, especially in that conversation too, Omar. I forgot about that situation. You n- niggas, look, there's some people that are probably in chat that actually do this. There are some niggas on stream that probably do this, but I'm seeing too many niggas cosplay, bro. I'm saying I'm seeing too many niggas cosplay, bro. This shit is getting corny, bro. It's get it's getting corny as fuck. All right, that's that's all I'm gonna say. We we getting the pie. We at two forty. 
But wait, I'm, I'm genuine Nick, question though. Why? Why do you think now, it's, it's crazy for me to shooting a ding dong? Shooting crazy. him, shooting if he stole. Because at yeah, that point, at that point, you you already said you your family is safe. Me frame one. If the nigga is gone, he already got the shit. I'm like, y'all good. I'm not. I gotta finish the mission. So that that's that's how my head is at. <laughs> no, but no, but, nah, what, but what Sage is saying is like, yeah, right, true. It, the the reason that I have a gun is for protection. I believe my life or what I am tasked with protecting is mm-hmm. in imminent danger. Mm-hmm. If they have my property and they are in the process of fleeing, I'm no longer in imminent danger. At that point, mm-hmm. I have something going on in my mind or I got, you know, YNW Melly on my mind and I just feel the need to take that out on somebody. If I end up killing dude because he's walking away with my roadcaster, because he's walking away with my iPhone, because he's walking away with my whatever, I, me personally, I would feel bad that I exchanged my That'd little, be the worst part. My you, $700 roadcaster for this this dude's life. I'm sorry. I, that'd I, be the know. worst part. You walk up to that nigga and mm-hmm. he stole like a, a, a motherfucking, I don't even know, like my if he stole my Avenger gauntlet, I walk up to the nigga and he was running with my gauntlet in his hand. I mean, and God forbid it's on some anime sad boy shit. Nigga was stealing food. So you'll, you'll never know what the fuck, like, man, I don't know. I'm not, I, I think niggas is too easy to cosplay. That's all I'm going to say. Because I I know, like, you're not, what you going to put whatever he stole on your bail? Because you're going to prison, buddy. You're going to jail. You just took a nigga life. Even, even, even let's, say, let's, you could get a, let's say you could get I mean, away with it. Like morally speaking, I would feel like yeah, morally that's shit. fucked up too. Morally is fucked up too. I would feel like total fucking shit if he stole my laptop and I fucking ended his life. I was say, oh damn, I could have just disabled my laptop from here. Oh. Or oh damn, I, I do got insurance on it. Ah, shit. Shit, I could have just hit fine my that nigga getting locked up. But nah, he took that nigga life because you hard. You got a couple of likes on Twitter. Again, bro, nigg- niggas get th- niggas get guns and start cosplaying, bro. Niggas get guns, and start cosplaying. But I'm not, I'm not a thug either. So don't nobody try to press me and show me a real one. I'm not a thug. But y'all be cosplaying. Mm. That was a good point. I ain't gonna lie. That was a good point. But uh, I, 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 I understand. I understand though. Emotion is a bitch. But I, th- I think ultimately it's one of those situations where like. You don't really know what you're gonna do until that shit happens because adrenaline is gonna be pumping through your veins. Or at least for me, maybe I don't know. I feel like that's gonna be one of those situations. What the fuck is going on in my mind is just what is going on in my mind. I'm not gonna see what would Twitter say about this. Okay, this is the <laughs> thing I should do type shit. I don't know. Uh, so now I will say, I will say so. so it ain't even just Twitter. Some niggas, some niggas will be in that situation and mentally be like, I ain't no bitch. I ain't no bitch. Bow. That that's a fact. Fuck, fuck opinion. I, I, I've, I'm in the burbs, and that fucking happened. Not, not what ifs anymore. That's a real life thing. Niggas will dead be like, yo, I can't be pussy. I gotta do something, and then niggas lose their life for that shit. I feel, I feel that way. That's, uh, that's why a bunch of my yeah. friends got guns in the south. Cause there's no way that you're stockpiling, and and hoping for this one day. You are legitimately sick. Like you are legitimately sick. But anyway, um. Let's get up out of here. This was actually this was a really good episode, especially. Yeah, that, that was good. I do I like this good, episode. Man. Good conversation yeah. too, especially at the end. Um, be so sick about it, to people, man. So y'all appreciate y'all for coming through. Shout out to the five fifty eight. We're closing on five fifty eight. We got twenty six subs this stream. I appreciate y'all, man. Yeah. I'm gonna continue to wear this and be jersey throughout the whole week. Follow me on Twitch at mm-hmm. B Souls. I'll be streaming tomorrow. Type shit. Four day a week streamer. Yeah, man. Shout out to TK for coming on, too. All right, shout out to young TK. Right. Sage, say goodbye to the people, man. All right. Shout out shout out to twin TK. So, like, now, but shout out to bro for real. Shout out to um, shout out to the chat staying through, man. I know September got done probably fucked y'all up, but I appreciate the 26 for this stream as well. I can't stream tonight because I ain't going to lie. 14 days of Sage is completed. Shout out to TDI in real life. Overdid it though. That that 5 a.m. <laughs> kicked my motherfucking ass when I ended the chat. But uh I'll be on stream likely tomorrow. We'll watch more of that shit. Episode one was a dud. So as I'm actually mad that you you missed it. Episode one was trash. Every episode passed. Back to the peak I knew and love, man. So stay tuned for Total Drama in real life, man. Shout out the challenge. If you Can you watch know. TLC shows on Twitch? Uh don't if I... you want the truth or you want to lie to you? I want the truth, man. Don't leave the VOD up, but yes, 
Because I'll be watching a lot of 90 Day Fiance, bro. That's a good Don't one. leave the VOD up. That's a oh horrible idea. 90 Day Fiance is fantastic stream. Content. That's a horrible <laughs> idea, but yeah, you you could do it, but don't leave the VOD up. Dear Lord, I've I've gotten blicked for leaving the VOD up. That's just trolling. Um, Yeah, I'll be streaming this week, Chad. I appreciate you guys for coming out. Put together some shows for you guys. I always give the commentary and the opinions. Um, in the Discord, it's Halloween. It's spooky season. So we're going to be watching a scary movie pretty much twice a night or twice a week at this point. Because I want to... A lot of scary movies out there. A lot yeah. of trash out there. How we was that watch... movie you watched yesterday? I tuned in for a little Garbage. <laughs> the, the, uh, the consensus rating was a 2 out of 10. I was going to ask, is it for high standards or just in general? Damn, uh, just general. Nigga said, can we please not watch something ass? Hey, bro. Nobody suggested something. So <laughs> if you want better movies, suggest something better. But um, anyway, we're rating Tevin? Yes. Let's rate our bud Tevin. We're going to be rating your bud, our bud Tevin. Tell him, let's keep it a buck sent you. That we'd love him on at any time. Don't give him an option. Just come on. That's a friend. Yeah, yeah, don't, yeah, don't say love him. Tell him he owes us in a month. Oh, <laughs> he owes us in a month. Get Actually, you scratch money. everything. Just tell uh, tell Tevin, uh, let's give it a buck sent, y'all. That's it, man. Oh, All love. Just straight love, man. Straight love. Peace out, y'all. All right, chat All right. Stream is ended. I think Gordon. they over there.